mission is to kill Chaos. That's all I know. When are we gonna fight Chaos? All I care about is seeing Chaos dead. Looks like Chaos has been waiting for us. Chaos. We're here to kill Chaos. What about Chaos? The Chaos doesn't exist? The Chaos Shrine. Just one. Is it true you made a deal with Chaos? Chaos exists. I knew it. I told you. And where there's a crystal, there's Chaos. Come on. Are you Chaos? You told us he made a deal with Chaos. And where? Where did this desperate urge to eradicate Chaos come from? Chaos takes hold. Me? Chaos? Chaos. This world needs Chaos! Chad, I'm tired of the Chaos! Make it stop! Chaos has been kicking me in the junk all week. I gotta be honest. My junk is sore. No more chaos, please. Okay? Let's get some dupe making music on. Yeah, don't indeed. Boop. There we go. Happy Sunday, one and all, and welcome back to another... I am going to delete all the sound notifications and all of you have Naz to thank. That's it. Just thank Naz. No more sound notifications on the channel. <laughs> oh, Rob Roy is in with me. Says delete them all. We're gonna. Chaos demands it. Yeah, so I was trying to ship Hyde's Hides, uh, what we, the giveaway, remember? Well, Hyde lives in Europe. Now, you wouldn't think it, but somebody throw out a guess how much it costs to ship from South Carolina to insert random country in Europe. Go ahead. Using UPS. Cattlemen said about 350. <laughs> UPS wants $210 for a box this size. And it weighs like a pound and a half. $210. You know what that is? That's chaos. Kicking me in the junk. So now what am I supposed to do? So I'm like, okay, well, I will give them an Amazon gift card so they can just go buy another one. Well, apparently in the US, in order to you to buy an Amazon gift card for a country in Europe, you have to use that country's storefront. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk to Hyde. Zimmy99 says you can almost fly it there yourself. I know. I said, what is it? On its own plane? They're trying to act like they're not sending hundreds, hundreds of packages to whatever their European hub is. I know. I'm going to try. Uh, I've heard USPS is going to be about 50 bucks. Can you VPN to Europe, buy the item and use their address? I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. I, I've got to do something. Punkin says they send giant boxes, giant boxes to Norway every year and pay less than a hundred bucks using USPS. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something. But it was like another gut punch. But I did, somebody did make me feel better today though. Okay. Somebody did make me feel better because I got a package in on Friday um, from one Codesman9000, who I saw is in the chat this morning. Codesman printed and painted this adorable little fellow. Now, I've got to say, Codesman, I don't hit the sun a lot. I don't touch grass a lot. I try. I make an effort. But this dude is really white. This is the whitest echo I've ever seen but it's amazing and glorious. It made me smile. They also sent a wonderful little note. 
<laughs> Creeper said, morning. Sir, it's midnight. Isn't it adorable? It's going directly up on the uh, on the wall. <laughs> Brave Gamer Cat says it's as pale as I am. It's the winter echo. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Code Van says I don't have skin colored paint. No, this is a skin color. It's wonderful, Code. I appreciate you. It's awesome. And it will be sitting up on... Here, let's do it right now. Let's do it live. Where are we? Hold on. I, everything's firing slower this morning. I don't know what's going on. This is this my life now. There we go. It's living there forever. Forever and ever. Codes Van did mention that they Just can print other things. So if you have an interest in doing some printing type stuff, um, hit Codes Van 9000 up with a whisper, will you? And if, uh, Codes Van, if you want to share your, your Insta, don't do the link because it'll block the link. But if you want to share your Insta account, so if they can hit you there. Kathora says, Big Echo looking a little vampire echo. <laughs> I like it. I Maybe that's what it is. It's vampire echo. At least it's not sparkly. At least it's not sparkly. Because, uh, yeah. I don't like the sparkly vampires. <laughs> we had some early love today. We'll start off with a first time chatter. Linglad says, hey, dude, found your channel on YouTube. Love the content. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. We also had Coca Poca with 50 bits. Says, I love the little plus that is still on the mic. It's now that's now chaos's mic. Chaos with a Q, of course. Cheeseburger in with the Prime for five months. I appreciate you, Cheeseburger. Thanks for the five months. Mrs. Music Lady in with the six months. Thank you, Mrs. Music Lady. Mooj Moment with an earlier follow a few minutes ago. No, we're staying away from... We're staying away from my... Uh, what do we call those? What do we call them? A pop it? Nope. Oh, my brain doesn't work. Why doesn't my... It's like my brain needs grease in the morning. It's so ridiculous. Funko Pop. That's the words I'm looking for. We're not going anywhere near the Funko Pop with glitter. That's not happening. Stream of Rain is sort of it. Saintly Gator in with the 18 months. This is 18 months. Shout out to my girlfriend, Nicole, who is taking care of a sick Saintly Gator today so I can watch the stream. Thank you, Saintly Gator, for the year and a half. And much love to Nicole being a giver. Acanthios with 10 gifted subs. That's a whole lot of love, Acanthios. Thank you and happy Sunday. Much love to you. Doughboy in with the two months says yet another stream. Love them. Keep them up. Great, great work. Thank you, Doughboy. Thank you again, Acanthios. Now I'm feeling bad. Coded, I hope I didn't I hope I didn't hurt your feelings by saying that it was the vampire echo, that it was very pale. Because it's wonderful. Yay. If I did, I apologize. I'm always trying to work jokes in, right? I'm always trying to make people laugh. And sometimes they just don't come out right. Geeky Gamer, or rather, I just don't think about them before they come out of my mouth. Geeky Gamer in with the four months says, ooh, a button. What does this do? I like touching buttons. <laughs> Cyborg Groku says it's a survival mechanism for military life. That's a very real statement from Groku. Oh. 
All right, Coded Coded said I didn't hurt the feelings. I feel better. Thank you, Coded. Dex 3D, leader of the Council of Meeps, in with 100 bits, says all aboard. Naz in with 314 bits. How are you and Little Chick feeling today? Little Chick is still feeling a little under the weather. Thank you, Naz, for asking. Even though I'm revoking your uh, sound alerts rights. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I'm going to figure it out, though. There's got to be some logic that I do. Allow all sound alerts except to Naz. <laughs> I just got to remember to keep him muted until I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, it's like, it's like driving down the road. Like you just pull out of the driveway and then somebody throws a hammer through the windshield. It's like, oh, I don't even know where I'm going now. <laughs> Thank you for the five biddies and the, uh, the concern. Nas. I'm feeling decent. Um, I'm looking forward to the work week though. Typically the work week means I'm going to bed earlier. I'm taking better care of myself. You know, everything's a little bit more relaxed. We're not necessarily relaxed, but I'm I'm not like going out to eat. I'm not having the drinks, that sort of thing. So I think that's what my body needs right now. Forever Lost in Oz with the 300 biddies. Thank you, Oz. I appreciate you. Rykar with 500 biddies. I appreciate the fin. Ooh, Redstone Craft with a drink. Cheers. Speaking before thinking is a true mark of chaos. It's on brand, says Crazy Tastic. <laughs> oh. Big Wave Dave says, teach little chicks some paint graphs. She will dance away feeling better. Ed says, going to bed earlier? Ew. <laughs> Wiesa says, if somebody throws a hammer into my windshield, I will no longer be trying to reach my destination. I'm finding who threw the hammer so I can give it back to them. <laughs> oh. Crazy Tastic says, I went to bed early once. I woke up early. Zero out of ten. Wouldn't recommend. Michael Muck X with the hundred bits. First time chatter as well. Welcome to the stream, Michael. Dex, that's a good idea. Do I need a T command? I think I need a commit T command. Uh, let's go command, add, T. It's Bigelow. I think that's how you spell Bigelow. Earl Gray. Boop. There we go. Thank you, Dex. Good call. Michael says, finally catch you live on Twitch. Very cool. Welcome. Please don't make it to where I have to put the T command on a timer. I tell you what, chat, you're the reason why we can't have nice things. That may be a smidge of uh, echo chaos. Sulfur says, I went to bed early. I woke up at 7 a.m. And I was like, yes, let's get out of bed early. I do this all the time. I blinked and it was 1 p.m. <laughs> oh. Bunkin says, I shall listen to the stream while I play some Last Epoch. Happy chatting, everyone. What is Last Epoch? Is this another Souls-like? Last Epoch. What is this? What? Oh, is this the new Diablo? This is the action RPG that just came out? Yes, it is. I mean, it had to do better than Diablo 4, right? Ooh, burn. How you feeling that, Blizzard? <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. Danger! Ooh. Turtle Hermit. Turtle is... Turtle is tattling on Naz. Naz threw out the, look at all them chickens. And Turtle goes, Naz is using sound alerts again. 
<laughs> I missed the pendiculate. I'm just going to refund you, Doff. I completely missed it because I'm not firing on all cylinders as usual. <laughs> Haunted says, we have a new FAQ article in the Discord and audio FAQs regarding pipe and liquid thermal conductivity. If you're interested in how thermal conductivity with pipe works, this is the right article. What do you mean if I'm interested? Haunted, are you throwing shade again? I know how thermal conductivity with pipes work. I know how thermal conductivity with solids work. I know how it works in all the elements. Why? Because I too read the wiki years ago. Haunted's always trying to... Haunted's got a giant... One of those... Um, those plasticky... It's not plastic. It's like rubber hammers. That we used to do... That you used to see in the old cartoons. Haunted walks around hitting me over the head with it. That's what Haunted's been doing. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, Haunted did do a great write-up in the FAQ. I think they do a little bit better job than the wiki does at explaining thermal conductivity. So if you need a um so if you need a a crash course on how some of the thermal conductivity things work, I recommend it. Sun King Apollo with the 9 months says, "Hey, I'm not late. I wasn't late either. We're both right on time." Haunted says liquid thermal conductivity in radiant pipes does not matter. No shade at all. This is for everyone. Now I'm trying to remember. Liquid conductivity or thermal conductivity in liquid pipes does not matter. Give me one second, Haunted. because now I'm gonna to wanna to do a test. Pipes. Am I reading right now? Yes, I am reading because I forget a lot of things. I don't know why. Well, I kind of know why. I still think it's very contingent. Are you talking about from one pipe to a next pipe? Because then it would, or then it would not, right? The pipes themselves, the thermal conductivity from one pipe to another does not, but the pipe to the pipe contents very much does. In other words, so like the polluted water inside the pipe. I'm not sure what you mean. Hold on. I've got I've got a I got something for you. Yay! So for those of you wondering where I go to sort of refresh, it's right here. The wiki for oxygen not included is very good. Um, and so sometimes when I'm trying to figure out how to explain something, I always go to the wiki. That's normally where I, where I, um, it's, it's my encyclopedia or my textbook, but I will take it one further and then I'll go do tests.
Dolph says it's probably that the game uses the highest value, and since radiant liquid pipes use refined metal, it's basically always higher than the contents of said pipes. But see, that's not saying the same thing. Mr. Nice Gamer with the nine months. Says happy nine months, been enjoying the YouTubes. Thermal conductivity of the liquid pipe to the surrounding cell is 0.5, two times the thermal conductivity of the pipe. So if it's two times the thermal conductivity of pipe plus the thermal conductivity of the liquid, why are, you, why are we saying that it does not matter? Here's another thing that makes it difficult is because we're always having conversations in chat and chat for some reason is, you know, Dex, why did you vanish? Why is Dex vanishing? Oh, they were trying to erase what they said. <laughs> Texas, who knows? I tell you what, we'll start off the stream by doing a test. How's that feel? Are the mods mad at Dex? No, Dex did their own Venice. For those of you who want to delete like your last thing that you said, just hit exclamation vanish, and if the streamer uses stream elements, it does it. <laughs> we is our says here, this might help. You can put a geyser on high alert and then see what is it is without digging it up. Thank you very much, we is our. <laughs> oh. Raven Stormfrost says, oh, I think my brain just melted. Uh, IG, oh, I got to zoom in for this one. iGill75 with the follow. Welcome in. The queen says the math gets complicated at this point. But that's the great thing is you don't have to do the math, right? As long as, long as you understand the basics, you're going to be fine. Macho Mass says it actually nukes everything you've said in the channel so far, not just the last content. Or not, not the just the last comment. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna do that test because I think it does matter. I'm look so looking at the the graph or the 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 equation. It's in there. It may be just a very small amount, but it's in there. But we're going to find out. Yeah, that link I posted, it gets ridiculous, okay? It absolutely gets ridiculous. Oh, here's another reason why I can tell you. Here's another reason why I'm going to say that the thermal conductivity of the pipe matters. So you're telling me if I put it in an insulated pipe, it'll still transfer? No. Xavier, in with a follow. I appreciate you. Haunted says the pipe totally matters the liquid does not at least with radiant pipes all right so the liquid i'm gonna disagree there then too because the liquid oh you're saying it doesn't matter as far as thermal conductivity because the radiant liquid pipe is the conductivity of the radiant liquid pipe is so much stronger whereas 
it's still going to, in our examples, we're still going to use a thermal aqua tuner to cool it down. So that's why we're saying that the specific heat capacity matters more on the coolant than it does because the pipe so does it so well. But then again, I'm going to say over a thousand cycles. Somebody tell me what the specific heat capacity of um, super coolant is. Sulfur says I came back at a weird moment being stared down by Echo. Ed, the answer is not 42. <laughs> Killer Dove says 8.44. Soren Hero says it's 9.46. Slicky Jeb says it's 8.44. See, now this is what this is my point. Deck says not. It does. It's not that it doesn't matter, but the thermal conductivity of it makes little difference. But little difference is still a difference, right? And a little difference over a thousand cycles is a big difference. Everybody's gonna jump in the stream and be like, what did I walk into? <laughs> How long are we streaming today? Asks Belzebub. Uh, probably four hours plus. Queen Calero says insignificant difference. Again, it may be insignificant, insignificant difference in a cycle, but how significant is that difference in a thousand cycles? <laughs> Code says 12 hours with a rap call. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alex says 42 hour stream Agreed I love it Let's get this roll call I want to play some auction not included today And I also want to do some experimentation We'll do some fun experiments Because again This is another thing that I've always tried to harp on Is never put yourself into a box Of only thinking one thing Because just because in the common example, we're always using a thermal, uh, we're always using a coolant inside of a thermal aqua tuner loop, doesn't mean we're always doing that. Mr. Rusty says, Echo, my wife wants to know about chaos. This is chaos the coca. Hello. <laughs> And I tried putting Velcro on the bottom of Chaos's butt, uh, but it didn't really work. It wasn't as good. So Chaos just kind of fits there. The actual difference in the effectiveness of cooling liquids is in the specific heat capacity, not thermal conductivity. Oh, Dex. Ed says, I have typed into chat to log my presence so Enko mentions me. Dex, we're, we're going to hammer this out. The only reason why I'm saying it does, the liquid does matter, is because I have done 4,000 experiments with this. Maybe not 4,000. The number is probably not 4,000. Turtle says, Senpai, notice me. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Where is my button? There it is. We're about to do the roll call. So if you want to be included in the roll call, all you have to do is say something in chat. For those of you new to the channel, we do a roll call every stream. In order to thank people for spending their most valuable resource, which is their time. So to start off our wonderful roll call on this Sunday fun day. 
First time chatter, Xavier. Welcome. We're going to start off with Abiton. Absolute three. Iger's LV, Alex. Belt Fed Joe, Belzebub. Brave Gamer Cat. Bricked Ed is here. First of their name. Coachman9000, aka Coded. Crazy Tastic. Cyborg. Uh oh. Cyborg Roku? Or Cyborg Groku? Dex3D and Doff87. Members of the Council of Meep. Leaders of the Council of Meeps, actually. Doff Doughboy. Dravy81. Does XOR. El Turtle Hermit. EMAP0707. Forever Lost in Oz. Fronima. Geeky Gamer back. Golden Creations Hawaii. Halo Man 1346. I am Killer Dove. I Gil 75. Gel Fader. Jarefa 2. Just Dog 1980. Kratora. Coca Lady Anime Yuki. Life Day. Nope. Life DE. Life D. I'm going to go with Life D. Mini Soul Reaper. Minu Zeta. Mas Mr. Jibo. Myla Loki Dotor. <laughs> Myla Loki Dotir. Mr. Rusty, 8,684. Mrs. Music Lady, 1219. Naz. Otaku, 74. Pumpkin Pie. Pyroy Maniac. Queen Calero. Question. Able Sanity. Raven Stormfrost. Rykara 1. Saintly Gator. Sea Dancer 8. Shallow Pie. Slicky Jeb. Soren Hero. Stream Elements the Bot. Sulfur. The Haunted 318. Ghost Rider. Timu Menesis. Menesis? We Azar. Xavier and Yuk. Maybe it's Yuck. Yuck 446. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. I still abs absolute absolute. A I've been meaning to send this message since the first roll call. The three in the absolute stands for an E. You don't have to say it. I feel bad for not letting you know earlier, and you've been saying it all this time. So it's an absolute. What have I been saying? Oh, absolute three. <laughs> I love it. So it's just absolute. I'll take it. I'll try to remember it. Sid Mora with the two months says, hello, amazing work, Echo. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. You've come at a bad time, though. We're arguing semantics. We're arguing semantics with thermal conductivity and liquids. First time chatter, iGill75 says, first stream, been working at the YouTube, so I appreciate you. Question Able Sanity is also a first time chatter. Welcome. Lug22 with the 16 months. I love how people try to sneak it in during the roll call. I'm going to find you. <laughs> Alex says three shots of absolute, please. Dex says semantic schematics. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Let's get this going. I'm excited for this experiment because I'm going to do one that I don't think people are going to expect me to do. And it's only to prove the point that it matters. Because what I have always tried to teach is do not put yourself into a box by saying X is always this. And I think this might work. We'll see. We will see. I might be just 100% wrong. Hello, loud. First, we're going to go enter into... Hold on. Let me turn that down because, you know... First, we're going to enter into uh, debug mode. Clay plays. There we are. And then we're going to go into... I think I still have a... 
a lab. Yep, here's my lab. Killer Dove says, I need to rename my account to stream elements the bot so I get double shout outs. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. All right. The very first thing that I'm going to use, let me try a couple different experiments. Um, we'll also open Sandbox. Let me clear some space here. Destroy. Boop. Yes. Uh-oh. Do not destroy the neutronium. Bad things happen. Let's go. Uh, and then Control F4. Gives me my instant build mode. Whee! Except I can't draw. There we go. Weazar says, please destroy the neutronium. I want to see what happens. Nothing. Nothing happens. Let's go destroy one. Whoop. Whoop. Um, then let's do the fill tool, except I'm going to fill it with a wonderful vacuum. Come on. What am I doing wrong? Hold on. Uh, let's try 1,000. Gas. I'm just not keeping up with it. <laughs> Here we go. Almost got you! Yes, 1,000 kilos worth of a vacuum. That's a very oxygen not included thing to say. Because that's not how it works. All right. Um, plumbing. We have our dev pipe, our dev pump liquids, right? I'm going to have two of them here. They're both going to have water on, right? What, what am I trying to prove here? That the thermal conductivity of the pipe does not matter? Oh, no, you're saying the thermal conductivity of the, of the liquid does not matter. So here's what we need to do. I need to find two liquids with the same specific heat capacity with a different thermal conductivity. Let me know in chat if you've already got this so I don't have to waste time. Uh, let's go, I could probably just look in the wiki too. Water. Specific heat capacity 4.179. Let's check polluted water. Use liquid lead. 4.179, but the water has a higher, they have the same specific heat capacity, but a different thermal conductivity. Everybody notice this? So the polluted water actually has a lower thermal conductivity. Man, it would take so much to prove this point because they're so similar. Salt water and brine might be a good one. Let me check it. Stream Elements the bot gifted a tier one sub to Turtle Hermit. Did you do it? Did I am Killer Dove do it? Or is this someone else? Let yourself be known, Stream Elements the bot. The fact that it wasn't taken is also amazing. Welcome, Stream Elements the bot. But notice that Stream Elements the bot is still a follower. Thank you for the gifted sub. Bot. <laughs> Let's check um, salt water and brine too. I want a bigger difference in thermal conductivity to highlight it. 4.1 and 6. I think they're the same. Yeah. 3 point, but they're not even close um, to 6. Uh, crude oil and petroleum. I think these are the ones that are the same. Specific capacity, 1.6. Thermal conductivity of 2. Petroleum. 1.76. Now, these differ. All right, so these have the same thermal conductivity, but different specific heat capacities. So we're going to use water and polluted water. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take liquid reservoirs. Notice that they're all built out of the same material. 
Oh, I'm going to need this first. Boom, 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 boom. The biggest difference in thermal conductivity is liquid chlorine and liquid steel. No, no, I don't want the biggest difference in thermal conductivity. I'm trying to keep everything the same, right? So I want liquids with a different thermal conductivity, but the same specific heat capacity. That's the key. Oh, that's a good point. Stream Elements the Bot has given 429 gifted subs in a channel. Oh, and look at the color. Look at the color of the username. The person changed the username. I know who it is. I know who it is. I don't know if I should say it. Should I say it? <laughs> Lady Anime Yuki was gifted another sub by Stream Elements the Bot. It is sulfur. My guess is it's sulfur. Because and I wouldn't have gotten that because there are a couple people who have gifted that many subs. <laughs> it is indeed, but it's the color of the username that gave it away to me. <laughs> Classic sulfur. All right, so. We're going to use water and polluted water in our example and water. Now I'm going to separate this as well. Is that about equal? I need them to be equal. 70 tiles, 70 tiles. I am going to put some radiant liquid pipes here. I'm going to use... Because chat's argument, right, is that the thermal conductivity of the liquid does not matter, right? So we'll just use copper. This is fine. Do I want to use copper? What do I want to use? Yeah, copper's a good middle of the road, I think. Thalric, with the three months at a tier three as well. Thank you very much. I think I I just realized, just by looking at it, did I miss Big Wave Dave's resub? When was it? Oh, I'll bet you it was way earlier. I could have sworn I saw Big Wave Dave. There it is. Yep, they hit me in the countdown. We had Double Decker Soul Wrecker in with the Prime 11 months for Double Decker Soul Record. That was 50 minutes ago, right during the startup. And then we had Zerup Denamra with the uh, Party of Six. Thank you, Zerup. And then Big Wave Dave in with the Tier 3 for 10 months. I'm sorry I missed those. I just remembered that I was supposed to remember when I was reading them during the countdown. And thank you, Thalric, for triggering my memory. Three months now for Thalric, tier three. It's a lot of love and support. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dave. All right, so... I'm thinking of using metal tiles just to make the example quicker. But I could also fill this with a liquid. I'm debating on which one to do. I'm going to use the metal tiles because I think the metal tiles will be, will make it quicker because they have less thermal mass. Fifty fifty? No, that's a good idea too. And so everybody expected me just to run a thermal a thermal aqua tuner in it. And that's the reason why I'm specifically not. Because you can't allow yourselves to 
to just be stuck in a corner of saying this is this reason for this, you know, whatever. Um, Phil, let me use 999, so there's not a chance of me cracking the pipes. 27 degrees, 27 degrees. Big Wave Dave says, if I don't respond fast, I'm doing some wow. Are you playing wow right now? The pipes on the outside of the vacuum will affect the result. Yes, they would. I need to fix that. Thank you. Phil... A uh, vacuum. Are we now all vacuumed? Double checking. Yes. All right. Uh, just, well, I'll bring insulated. Not that it matters because there is no environment. Now we're going to use the exact same radiant liquid pipe as well. And I'm just going to do some of this action. Actually, I'm going to bring it all the way down here. I'm also going to pause it just to make sure the materials aren't interacting with the liquids yet. No, 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 no. See why, why this is why we can't have nice things echo. Is aluminum better than steel for conductivity? Um, yes. So this is steel bunker tile. Oh, I guess bunker tile is not going to be the goodest, the best example. There's a steel metal tile, and here is an aluminum tile. The aluminum has a thermal conductivity of two point or two hundred and five, and a specific capacity of 0.91. Steel is only sixty. But in uh, like gas pipes, here's where everybody kind of gets screwy because ores do not have good thermal conductivity or specific heat capacity or thermal conductivity because they're ores. But steel is still a refined metal, so it's much better. Bathtub 83 with the follow. I appreciate you. Big Wave Dave since been been wowing since 2005. Every time I fire it up, I play for like a day and then I'm like, oh. I've, I've been waiting for ye old um, player housing. Not garrisons, but real deal player housing. And don't worry, I can get that out of there. Despise. Oh, no. Where's my clear four? There it is. Whoop, whoop. All right. So far, so good. Whoop. Whoop. Is there still a pipe in one of the buffer tanks output? Uh, yeah, there might be. Right here. Clear that floor. There we go. Um, I think everything is equal. All things being equal. Now, this will probably have one packet of regular water in it when it first comes out. This is water. This is polluted water. Mick Dubs, first time chatter, says hello. Vodlander here. I've been subscribed on YouTube for about a year. Thanks for all the endless content. Well, thank you for coming by, and I appreciate the uh, being subscribed on YouTube for a year. 
I appreciate you. We're arguing semantics right now. <laughs> Can you add heat to the metal tiles? Right now, they're 24 degrees. Or 23.8 degrees. Some of these are a little bit warmer because of the unpausing. So they've been interacting with the polluted water, which is fine. See, because the polluted water started off at 27. You notice how the closer we get, we've lost some heat from the polluted water, but that's to be expected. Now, the key is... Oh, you're saying to cool it down. All right, so, let, yeah, let's do that. Let's go... Let me go 100C. With a four, nope. A three. I'm going to click it once. Twice. Once. Twice. Let me see, if, did it change anything? No, it didn't. Um, I... This tool is kind of weird, so I want to be careful how I do it. The best way to do this is to change the value of the polluted water. Does it work in pause? It may not. That's, I think the best way to do this is going to be doing it like this. We're going to say 80 degrees. 999. What's in the pipes? Um, we have... One with polluted water and one with regular water because they have the same specific heat capacity but a different thermal conductivity. Unfortunately, the difference in thermal conductivity is very small. Um, so it's, it, it's going to be stupid difficult to tell. 6.09 for water. And... 0.58 for, um, for polluted water. All right, so now we have 80 degree polluted water, which will help heat these, uh, these up. So we're not going to start these yet. In fact, I think they need power, don't they? No. Why haven't they started? Oh, because they haven't been hooked up. That's why they haven't started yet. But Oh, yeah, I found you. Found you. Notice how the first packet is always water. But these are now set. Still a vacuum. This is irrelevant to the experiment. Mop, mop, mop. There we go. All right. Notice the tiles are now 40 degrees. You forgot wallpaper, by the way. Thank you, Eazar. Right on time. Ed in with a pendiculate. Oh, thank you, Ed. Am I a dad? I am a dad. I'm also a daddy. What's up? Ha! Ah. What can I say except you're welcome? Oh, this is not the thumbnail. We're not. We're playing some regular. We are definitely playing some uh some regular oxen not included. I just wanted to give these a second. To equalize in temp. This is why I love using polluted water in some cases. This polluted water has a thousand kilos in every tile. So while the metal tile is a better conductor, because it's only a hundred kilos. Are we doing educational, Ani? Kinda. We're, we're arguing semantics because chat chat's position is that the thermal the liquid the thermal conductivity of the liquid does not matter and i'm saying it does because you can't you can't just say an absolute unless you're being flippant right go away don't look don't look we azar <laughs> Uh, let's clear that for. There we go. All right, we got 80 degrees. We got 78.2 on this side. 78.1 down towards the bottom. Notice that these are all the exact same. 
We're still transferring some thermals, so I want to let it stabilize. So I'm on times 10 mode right now. Fronima says, I don't think it's not controlled enough, so the results will be tainted. Not exactly the same starting temps? How, how not? We had the exact same starting temps. We're in a vacuum. Killer Dove says semantics or the value of scientific method. Yeah, no, this I am trying to do as much scientific method sort of stuff as possible. The issue I think I'm gonna result result uh, the issue I think I'm gonna run into is the amount of time required to show the difference in the thermal conductivities. The metal tiles seem different. They're not. They were built at the exact same time. Um, right now, they are they're absorbing the temperature of the polluted water. But when you build a uh, metal tile, it always comes out the same temp. Look, pause here, pause here, pause, pause. Notice they're always 20 degrees. They're all 20. You can paint natural tiles made of refined metal at your desired temp. Yes, that is true. Slicky Jeb says, I realized something sad. Apparently, I won't be able to get to the temporal terror in the close future. I just built hydrogen and oxygen condensers and my frames per second dropped to five. It'll be a long way before I have a new computer. All right. Um, Slicky Jab, just because you have low frames doesn't mean you can't get there. Does not mean you can't get there. It'll just, it'll be painful. Arsonist Sams, you're not skipped. No one's purposely skipped. I just don't always uh, always see it. it. Says, good afternoon, chat. Good afternoon, Echo. How are we doing today? What contraption is Echo making? I'm not making a contraption. We're doing a scientific experiment. I think we've left them 74. Yeah, I think we're good. So now by activating what we're doing is we're... I'm proving that thermal conductivity matters in cooling, in cooling, right? Oh, that's a great point. Bushman Glenn puts, I says, I bet you have better frames when just looking at the star map. Yeah. So once you get everything set, just go to the star map and let it run because it doesn't have to render the animations. Pause the game before you connect the pipes. Absolutely. What is the happy tool? <laughs> I want that in real life, don't we all? <laughs> it's um you can change duplicate stress levels and stuff. You can adjust the morale. <laughs> all right. Pausing it. We're on slow speed. I'm connecting them up. And then I'm unpausing it. And now the liquids are coming out. So well, I'm already going to be able to tell you that we're going to be able to see a difference right at the rip. Does zoom level impact the frames? Yes, it does. Right now, this polluted water is 52.8 degrees. The water is 52.8 degrees. This tile is 65 point... Right? Nope. The tile is 68.1 this metal tile is 68.1. So far, samesies. Can we see the temperature view? Zimmy99, you can't say chat was right already. Thermal tolerance, state change. Let's do some more checkies. Twenty 
27.2. So far, it's still the same. Now, let me let it run for a little bit. Because remember, the difference is going to be, has chat an official opinion? No, I think everybody in the chat is just sitting on the haunted side. Haunted says, what should happen if the experiment is set up correctly? No difference at all. The reason the difference in the thermal conductivity between both is 0.024%. The pipe run is long enough that all heat is transferred in both cases because they have both the same specific heat capacity, which is all that matters if all the heat is transferred. Mick Dub says, with 100 biddies as a Vodlander, I wanted to give back directly to you, but I'm going to be back. I'm going back to the Vodlands. Thank you, Mick Dubs. I appreciate you. I, I'm not sure how long it would have to run. Now, the point being, because the pipes are long enough, that would only prove my point, though. Because you're saying if the pipes are not long enough, then the thermal conductivity matters. Welcome in, Raiders. Table of 14. Rob Setti, one, two, three. Gingerbread Beauty, hello, welcome in. We're doing some scientific experiments right now. It's getting weird. It's getting weird. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. I am Killer Dove says wrong. Chat's official opinion is that let there be chaos. I still have no idea how to say S-N-D-P-E-R. Are we going with Sandper? I need help. Signed per. I've, you've told me this before. You've told me this before. How about a quick check now? I don't... I'm not sure what the, uh, the overall differences will be yet. 27, 27, 32, 32. Metal tile... 41.4, metal tile, 41.3! Metal tile, 41.4. Metal tile, 41.3. Metal tile, 46.8. 46.7! 45 45.5. Oh, wait, no, that's wrong with side. 46.7, 46.8. 46.2, 46.2. So it seems like the top here is a little warmer. Queen, do not start. Do not, it's a rounding error because this is how the game works. Queen, what are you doing? It's a rounding error? What are you trying to do to me? Ed says, Echo, my big dupe says hi and bullied me into sending this. Hi, big dupe. Haunted says, point one is within the margin of error. There is no margin of error. It's the same experiment with different liquids. There is no margin of error. Grimsia, Phantom, and with the follow. We did not write down the values of the tiles before the start of the experiment. They weren't 41.4. Doff says, okay, now this one's pretty good, except I can prove it's not true. Doff says simulation might be calculating from top left to bottom right each tick. If you think the simulation can't handle this in its calculation, or that it, there would be a delay. I, I disagree with that. But here's where, because this metal tile is 40.7. This one's 40.5. Hold on. There's some in here that are still the same. Yep. Dead center, 43.3, 43.3. Am I on 10x speed or debug sandbox? I'm on 10x, not debug sandbox. Here's another difference. This polluted water is at 70.2 degrees. 
The water, okay, so right now this water's at 70. This water's at 70. Okay, that was still the same. I thought they were different. What's the insulated tile? It doesn't matter what the insulated tile is made of because they're all the same, but they are made out of sandstone. Kansas City Shuffle says it in what my argument has been. With higher conductivity, more cooling is dumped into the first tiles being cooled. This is my exact point. Weazar says, I think the water is just sad that it doesn't have more wallpaper. My point is that the thermal conductivity matters. It's not just specific heat capacity. And here's the proof. It may equalize over the long term, but right now these tiles down here are a little warmer. Why? Because the water has a bigger, uh, bigger thermal conductivity. So you can imagine in the long, long term, it matters. Now, in a huge cooling loop, the rear of this all started in a huge cooling loop. Long term, I don't think it's going to matter, right? Because you're going to lose all that thermal conductivity almost before the specific capacity has a chance to catch up, right? Rob Roy says, this is not really proof. Echo's hypothesis is supported, but not statistically sound. What makes you say that, Rob Roy? Why is it not statistically sound? Just the difference, to me, it is statistically sound, considering the difference in temperature on the metal tiles. I haven't checked the polluted water yet. It's a lot more thermal mass. Yeah, this is too much thermal mass for it to show yet. Kansas City Shuffle, I agree. Conductivity matters more early and less as it stabilizes. Bergetta says, I think we're splitting hairs. I don't understand how the difference in temperature right now on an equal experiment is splitting hairs. Because the, the argument thrown to me is that thermal conductivity of the liquid does not matter. These two liquids have the exact same specific heat capacity, but a different thermal conductivity. And we have a different result on the metal tiles, which shows that there is a difference. I'm not saying that the difference is significant. I am just saying that there is a difference. And in some, and for you to keep that in mind when you're building different systems. Alex says, you need to rerun the experiment multiple times. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I knew this was going to work like this because I've done experiments like this a hundred times. Why not use super coolant in one and it'll be super clear? No, I can't because I'm um, super coolant because that would make the, the experiment wouldn't be the same. Super coolant has a higher specific heat capacity. A huge specific heat capacity. So that would make it... That would... Um, it would throw off the experiment. The difference that we have shown is that polluted water and water have the same specific heat capacity, but a different thermal conductivity. This is the reason why this ex experiment proves that thermal conductivity does matter. I'm not saying, especially in a longer run, I'm not saying it matters as much, but it does matter. Rob, Rob Roy says you have to do it 10 more times to avoid rounding and other preset of conditions. Well, I'm gonna say that I've done this 10 times because I have, I've done it a hundred times. The semantics, I would agree, is that the absolute statement of thermal conductivity does not matter. 
What happens if you add temperature shift plates to where? Kansas City Shuffle. Once again, is spitting the truth. Says the higher the conductivity, the shorter you can make the chiller, which is true. Uh, council. Who's on the council? Okay, Kansas City Shuffle is already on the council. Then where is our um, acolytes? Acol How did we write this? Acolytes? There's the acolytes. Are there two liquids where conductivity is equal but difference in capacity? Um, I do not know. Yes, I think um, crude oil and petroleum. Crude oil has thermal conductivity of two, specifically cast of 1.69. Petroleum. This would have a huge difference. Or a bigger difference, I would think. Two and 1.76, yes. So there, if you want to run the experiment the other way, use petroleum and crude oil. We're at 35.2, 35.2. Now everything I think is starting to catch up. 34.6 down at the bottom, 34.7. And remember, the longer we run this, the, the less you're going to be able to see the difference because it's all going to equalize to the temperature of the water. Haunted says, Echo, I would enjoy arguing in a different format where we are on equal footing. I'm at a disadvantage because I have to type. No, true. That's absolutely true. Um, but the, so have I not proven, and especially with what Kansas City Shuffle says, which I think they say it in a better way that I can, the thermal conductivity, the difference between the temperatures in the metal tile proves that the thermal conductivity can have an impact, especially on the shorter loops. I don't understand what the argument is then because we've already proven it the otherwise. But let's get on with some real chaos before we lose all our viewers to nonsensical science. <laughs> Brine and water, salt water also have the same thermal conductivity. Brine does? Really? Boop, boop, boop. 0 0.609, very nice. Dark Vorbug in with five gifted subs. I appreciate you. 100 bits says I had a great time. Just saying, says Cyborg Grogu. Thank you both. I appreciate you very much. Kansas City Shuffle says, rather than checking the, the temperature of the tiles, I just knew we'd be able to see it quicker in the tiles because the tiles only have the 100 kilos worth of thermal mass, whereas the water, you know, is a lot more, right? Um, and checking the temperature of the liquids... There's so much liquid in here and it's averaging, it would take much more to see the difference. I would expect these to be the same. And they are. But yeah. I don't think the difference is much. But there is a difference. Dark Vorbeg says, promoting the science so I don't have to do it. <laughs> uh, Misprints. We're back at Misprints. Order now, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Taz says, has anyone read the article on thermal conductivity in the and Ani fandom? I have. I have multiple times. 
Haunted says, I think you've proven my point. There is no difference. Then how do you, um, how do you account for the difference in the temperature between the tiles? I believe that the unalived horse is sufficiently beaten. I agree, Glenn. All right. I have no idea what we're doing today. I was thinking about this before the stream started. We now have a good power. Oh, I know what we're doing. That's how long it took. I think that's the conclusion. I think to sufficiently beat this horse one more time. You think the difference is... Haunted thinks the difference is within the margin of error. We will have to agree to disagree, Haunted. Because I like how Angry Forest surmises this. The shorter the heatsink, the more the thermal conductivity matters. I like I like that way. It's an easier way to just staple it and be done with it. Right? You don't have... And none of the things that we do in this game, is it going to matter in the long term anyways? In most instances of what coolant you use. All right, let's go with, uh, oh no. It hasn't saved yet. For those of you who didn't know, I am still in debug mode. If you are in debug mode in a colony, it is... If you're in debug in a colony, you will lose the opportunity to get your achievements because the save file will then be listed as a debug. But the only way to get out of debug mode, I wish you could go to main menu and then type, type in like Clay does not play <laughs> um, to get rid of it, but you can't. You'll still see you're in debug mode. You have to quit the game and go back into it. And as long as I didn't get a save, I could also just reload an earlier save and it should be good. Should. Sardamala says it only disables achievements if you use any debug commands. But I think we should be good now because I did not save and all that kind of stuff. Because I just used the instant construction by destroying all that stuff by accident. The Haunted says, Echo, promote me to the council and we'll, we will not argue again. That's not the reason why the council is there. The council is there to advise me anyways, right? So if I'm about to do something stupid and Dex says, Hey, uh, don't do this. Or Doff's like, ah, this might be better. That's the point. It's not for them to sit there and agree with me. I enjoy civil discourse. Civil discourse. Because it only makes everybody smarter in the long term. All right, so we are out of debug mode now. And this is all back, so we are all good. Today, I think it's uh, petroleum boiler time. Which I know gets chat all all hot and bothered because they think they're going to get sour gas. You're not getting sour gas. I would like... We got to make a vacuum too, which is a pain in the tuchus. We said that we we're going to make this here, right? This was going to be because we have a thermal... We have a thermal stake. Maghard says my democratic echo. You mispronounced sour gas. <laughs> Kiri says, to be fair, that's what you said last time, and we still got sour gas. Dex says, FYI, my original designation in chat was Echo's arch nemesis. <laughs> that is chat lore. I love it. Oh, channel lore is the greatest. Are uh, the sound alerts? 
Silent Ascoras, no. I just heard a um, just take a look at from Soren Hero talking about a plastic sour gas boiler. They're just very low. Let me try turning up a little bit. All right, so I think the idea is that we're going to use this area as, because it has a lot of heat in it. Suarez has found it. Sound testing is working. But we need to vacuum some of this out. Oh, there's going to be a pain doing this with all of this sitting here. How do we do this? Do we pump it over? And I also need to get these going. Where's the other one? It's right here. We do have one pipe, right? Yep. I still want to clean this up. It looks so sloppy. The horn's still very low. It could just be the horn itself. Since you were testing, I'm going to refund that, Swarzez. I need a frivolous sound alert. Oh! I know what it is. Whoop! It's the system sounds because I reduced it because we were sitting in the menus. All right, chat. You should be able to go nuts now. Kansas City Shuffle says, can you make a sound alert that only the council can use? I don't know. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. There it is. That's a good question. I'd like to do that. You can check in the colony achievement menu. This is an early save, so it should be good. It's an earlier save. We didn't end up saving it before I did that. Um, I don't want to go into the colony summary because it'll do the dink, 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 dink. You know what I'm talking about. What system do you use for sound? I use um, sound alerts. It's literally just called sound alerts. It's a third party uh, system. All right, let's start getting rid of all this debris. Ooh, that's too loud now. There we go. I want to get rid of all the debris first. And we'll also start pumping this. Actually, I probably need to go in through there. Why is that in there? I don't remember why that is there. I'm going to try to set up like a bunch of them right now. Is this seven? Yes. I don't think the council are all mods. No, they're not. I don't think there are any council members that are mods. Slicky Jeb says we should do a guess what achievement we got today. I mean, I like that idea. But I kind of, I just love the whole dink, 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 dink. So I try to save it towards the end of the colony so you get like the steady, um, the steady dink, 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 dink. Stompum says I know the of another stream where mods have commands that only individual mods can use. Hmm. Let me check that real quick. While we watch Diggy Diggy Dupes. Diggy Diggy Dupes! Uh, where am I? Viewer rewards? So you can't by Twitch's default. By Twitch's system. Because the sound alert system plugs into the Twitch alert system. Or the Twitch system, so 
You can't buy that. There's no permission base there. Let me check stream elements, uh, customs, user level. Yeah, I can, I can separate by VIP regulars, which is a stream elements thing that we don't do. Subscribers, moderators, super moderators. I don't know how they separated it by, by individual person. Unless they use like streamer bot. Yeah, I don't know how they did that. Were they for blocking hot abyssalite? Oh, uh, that might have been it. Yep, that's what it was. So I'll just put them in here. Yeah, because that heat is getting off in there. Uh, why can't you go over? Oh, because the ladder's not far enough over? That's fine. That's fine. Bushman Glenn says, I'm cooking Mexican for my eldest 30th birthday party. It says, damn, I'm old. No, you're not, Glenn. Um, what are you cooking? Coca Poca says, I think I kind of fell asleep. What did I miss? I think everybody fell asleep. That's what happens when you got too much math. A little bit of math is good. It's fun. It's sexy. Too much math? Nope. It's too buku. <laughs> well, let me go, what, here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then here. Hendu, 1175. I appreciate you. Welcome. Amy, welcome back. Dex says, my daughter's 10th, 29th birthday was a week ago. I love it. Enzan says, your streamer name derived from your first name. I was wondering what the story behind it was and found a possible explanation. Ish. Um, my first name is Eric. And the phonetic letter E, you know, is echo. Or the way you say the phonetic letter E is echo. So sometimes. Slicky Jeb says, did you know there's a song called Diggy Diggy Hole? Yes, I do. I love that song. Whoop. There we go. Let's go another seven up. Oh, well, you're only on single speed. We got things to do. Let's go. Let's go. Let's destroy all the stuff. Destroy all the stuff. Four, five, six. This is going to be too much, so we'll just do... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Trapped. Dumpkin? How are you trapped? Oh, this one right here. I am a dupe. And I'm digging a hole. Bushman Glenn says three echo six forever. How do you remember? Glenn, you weren't around for three echo six. Making enchiladas and sides. Oh, enchiladas M with margaritas and her fancy Jimmy Buffett McRita machine. Is there a Jimmy Buffett margarita machine? Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, this is where our petroleum boiler is going to be. I 
I found the three echo six subreddit. That's not me then, because my three echo six was written out as uh, the way Bushman Glendis did. One margarita, two margarita. All right, slowly, steadily. Whoop. All right, this area seems to be sufficiently taken care of. Unfortunately, we got to get rid of all the water. Uh, but we're going to have to pump this out anyways. So why don't we do... How am I going to do this? The petroleum boiler needs to be a vacuum, but the rest of the place does not because we have that filtered. So maybe we just have it... Nope, that's wrong. Like this. How's that look? Was I a staff sergeant before I got commissioned? I did make it to staff sergeant, yes. I made it to gunnery sergeant. Hendu says Sapper 2 Romeo here. I love it. I was, um, at one point, I was, um, Oscar 3 Echo. Oscar 3 Echo Papa. <laughs> Raw Gunny. <laughs> Any thoughts on the last quality of life beta for Ani? Yeah, I've got a few. I'm, I'm excited about trying it. Um, although, I am not sure. There's not a lot of meat and potatoes to it. But I'm more, I think I'm more excited about the so, uh, the so-called, um, performance improvements. Because remember, performance improvements just make my life easier. Now that we have this here, I'm setting all this up so we can get to the business at hand. Uh, what am I going to do with all this? Put it into some buffer tanks. Boom. I'll drop all the oil in here. There's still a little bit of polluted water in here, which is obnoxious. Absolutely obnoxious. Let me try getting rid of this. And getting rid of it on this side. Because the rest I can pump out. I am excited about the bigger gas reservoirs. That's a great point. You should do a double li liquid lock for when you do sour gas. There's not going to be any sour gas. Okay? And this is going to be a vacuum, so we don't need a double liquid lock it. Oh, the Haunted says, you're right. It was the Echo Ridge Gaming subreddit, but the user is 3 echo 6 I know. Because Reddit's one of those annoying places that you can't change your username. What happened to my polluted water? I thought it was up here. Crude oil, polluted water. Oh, it's because I don't have the thing here yet. The liquid lock will go down. We're going to pump it all out. Whoop. I do enjoy the occasional... Uh... Actually, let me do this. And that way we can power that mechanized airlock. Why pump it out? It looks fine to me. Because we got to vacuum this whole place out. Boop, boop. Which is not going to happen until I pump it out because there's polluted water in here. Yes, yes. Soren Hero says, I think it's a thousand kilos. No way. A thousand kilos would be absolutely amazing. 
Oh, man. Because I've always had to make... And it makes sense, too. And apparently there's a slightly different um, look to them, too. Because then you don't have to do multiple of them. A thousand kilos? Oh. I would like that change. I would vote for that change. So are we going to store a thousand kilos of sour gas? We're not going to make any sour gas. Okay? I'm sorry to disappoint. How are we doing here? I'm I'm debating. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Boop. And we got rid of this, so it's slowly vacuuming all this out as well, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, let me do my seven. We come to Papa. It's right here. That's funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will keep this little guy uh, in there until we get the whole thing vacuumed out. That seems smart. Magheart says, you mean to say this wasn't all preparation for a sour gas boiler? Dark Wizard said, let's be honest, Echo will still build multiple gas reservoirs. Well, of course we will. <laughs> of course we will. Boop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yes. Unfortunately. This can all go away. One, two, oh, and this one's right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's gonna be too short, but we'll go with it. Just to get it going there. This is super hot too, isn't it? Yep. It's super hot. Do a buffer neighborhood, like the buffer city, but smaller. Or not. Preferably not. <laughs> Amy from Earth says press release. For the from the office of Echo Ridge Gaming for immediate release. We will not intentionally create any more sour gas and deny the existence of any previous sour gas. It is our understanding that the sour gas was all in your heads. <laughs> Amy, you make the absolute best um, personal assistant. Actually, you wouldn't be a personal assistant because you're doing the business side of it. A personal assistant is the ones who goes and gets like the dry cleaning and stuff. What's the what's the modern name for secretary now? Or is it still secretary? Executive assistant. There it is. Thank you. I knew there was another word. There is a difference between an executive assistant and the secretary, but it's based on the the position that they are working for. Administrative assistant is another one. Yep. Executive assistants are typically assistants of executives, right? Or director levels. <laughs> Big Wave Dave says PFC and Lance Corporal. <laughs> I like it. What's the pink gas in here? There is some um, sour gas in here, but it was from... It was from something else. It must be all gone. Trapped? Not anymore. Oh, nope. Miss Amanda looks to be trapped. No, they still have physical tiles there. They're good. Boop. Boop. We got a pendiculate from the pie. Oh, that was good. I felt that one in the spine. All right, so we good here? Can I continue with the chaos? Let's try to get rid of that and all this. All that. I'm hoping that pump has been pumping by now. Oh, we're going to have a lot more diamond. 
We won't mention the plastic shift plates. There was no... Wait, we have a company card now. Amy says they're an executive assistant. From this day forth, let it be known that Amy from Earth is the Echo Ridge Gaming executive assistant. <laughs> oh, and they go on further to say, and those flowers that you got me on my birthday that I put on your company credit card were wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> oh. That's amazing. That is amazing. All right, so let's go get all these goodies. Yes, yes. I need to make sure this does not lock as well. So I might just do that for now. Uh, yeah, we can get Amy a walk-on command. Command, add, Amy, Echo, Echo's executive assistant. Echo's excellent executive assistant. Nope, I put that in the wrong spot. Echo's excellent I can't spell extraordinary off the top of my, my head either, so that word's not going in it. Excellent and earnest <laughs> executive assistant. Because <laughs> Amy, Amy has always done the things like, uh, Echo, there's people from the <laughs> Dupe Worker <laughs> the Dupes Worker Union here. Oh. Five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Yay! Anonymous gifter with a gifted sub to Kutai Ed Returns. The last of the Eds. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now Amy's just turning people away at the door. <laughs> it, it is not a Perrier day. It is a Perrier day. What vent is this? Um, liquid carbon dioxide at minus 55. Do we have something like PETA for the critters? Yes, it is the... Oh, uh, what was... Did we make a command for it? I think we A's are... What's Weazar's command? Yep, there it is. The Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Critters. <laughs> oh, I love it. That one guy, 4239. With the Prime for four months. Just always love your videos and tutorials, Echo. Have helped me out so much, even if I'm barely in the mid-game. Thank you so much. I appreciate the uh, the continued prime and the the kind comment. All right, so far so good. Liquid pumping takes so long because the gas it's, I mean, there's normally just a couple of kilos, but the liquid there's a thousand kilos. Oh, I can keep mopping. I will keep mopping. Did we get all the polluted water from up here? No. There's still some junk. Ugh. All right, well, we're gonna have to lock a dupe in. There's some liquid phosphorus, too. Choo-choo! Oh, there's some right there, too. Is everybody out? That's probably good. Mop it. Oh, there's some more moppies. I feel like it's still going slow.
You don't have one on the ladder yet. It's coming. It's coming. Here we go. Mop, mop, mop. Oh, they must have gotten the water already. All right, good. Buildings. Whee! We finally got all the other water out of here. Oh, wait. Uh, we're about to bring all that water out. I suppose we should filter the water. All right, let's do this. Give me a liquid filter. Um, crude oil can go down. Everything else is going to go up. Into here. It's temporary. This one truly is temporary. Meat Hound is, says, Today is, I meant the day someone took over Echo Oniverse and created the strange unknown gas. Did you know the crude oil will overflow through the liquid lock, right? Happened to me on my last playthrough. Yeah, you're right. It will. Um... There's a way to prevent it. I have to remember. I have to put another liquid in there. Let me think on that. Another liquid will stop it? Or do I just say, make the liquid lock up here instead of where, wondering about it? Beware of the abyss light flashing any non-water-based liquids. Yeah, we have a, um, none of them are hot in this little room. whoop crude oil. Oh, whoa. Simmer down. Why won't you do that? The search button here does not work. Look, I'm clicking inside the search. And it just comes right out. That's weird. And that's going to go like this. This is going to go like this. What are we doing? Naz? What are you, why are you hitting all the buttons, Naz? What, what's happened? Oh, I made it out of... I made it out of copper. Of course I did. Crude oil went to your sauna? Oh. Oh. Oops. It's not going to make it sour gas. It's cold and... Ow! Oh! Ah! How is it hot enough to make sour gas? Oh, this has got to be old sour gas. This is old sour gas. This is not new sour gas. Pretty pink steam. Because it w it's not hot enough in here to make... Um, to flash crude oil into petroleum and then from petroleum. Ooh, but this abyssalite is... That's what it is. It's Oh, in the steam room. That's what they were talking about. I don't want to hear your nonsense. Soren said, try to tell him, chat. Ch I thought you were talking about in here. And now look, that water's back. Da -na 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 -na. Where do I put the liquid lock? Maybe right here. Mm, down one. Just take a look at this. Yeah, we'll hit it from the top. We'll hit it from the top, chat. <laughs> I'll forward your request with the utmost care and diligence. <laughs> no. Don't worry, all this is going away. It's fine. I could have sworn I've deconstructed this thing 14 times now. Boop. 
And then we'll seal this up. Go like this. This will be better. So isn't Amy more like a spokesperson? No, executive assistants. Sometimes people will call. And so the executive assistant, in this case, Amy, answers the phone and tells people to go away. Right? The pumpkin's all excited about the pink gas. <laughs> oh. I have a broken sweeper. Yeah, it's... We're still trying to manage the heat here. Did we get the... Yeah, we did. Um... Let me put more. They can't get there. Right? Well, actually, I think they can reach down, right? And I suppose we also have to go over there and fix this thing. I'm going to try more temperature shift plates. We'll try it. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll give it the good old try. Liquid, crude oil, and able auto bottle. Finally, plumbing. I'm going in times 10 speed now because throwing caution to the wind is something we like to do. Because we have a lot of work to do in this stream. There we go. Very nice. You might not be able to see it, but there's one tile of liquid phosphorus in the oil tank next to the insulated wall on the ladder. It's purple. If I can't see it, it doesn't exist. Nope, doesn't exist. There is some water right here. It's that it's always making steam in the boiler. Oh no, not again. I ought to just keep doing it just to get rid of the heat out of this abyssalite. Crude oil, thank you. Why aren't you connected? There we go. Left side of the insulated tiles. Liquid phosphorus. It's okay. It'll go in here, flash into phosphorus gas, and then it'll be destroyed. That's okay. Let me also do this. Beautiful. Oh, we can also put this one here. Is it like that? Can I rotate these? No. So I want to go like this. Whoop. There we go. I suppose I can go how that'll work. No, 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 no. I want it over a little bit so I can actually do this. And it's all hot. Brilliant. Apply aloe vera to this burn. Here it comes. Here it comes. Amy would answer your payphone if you had one. Ah, joke inspired or stolen from Mead Hound. <laughs> That's why they're saying add some aloe vera to this burn. Has Echo given up on preventing sour gas? No, Ellie, we have not. Welcome back. It's just in here it doesn't matter because we're destroying it, right? It's here that we're not going to get any sour gas. Why? because I deem it so. All right, let me get a tile in here just so we can get the crude oil in there. And I think this is finally... 
three of all the other liquids. Yes, yes. And then we can go like this. What do you mean you can't get... Oh, that's why. <laughs> what are we going to build in the walled-off area? We're going to build a petroleum boiler with a geothermal spike heat source. Maybe nothing will go wrong, is what we're going with. Amy, cancel all calls. <laughs> Ellie says, I was so sad I missed the massive sour gas for Valentine's Day episode. It even looked like a heart. It was perfect. It was perfect. Where are we getting all of our hydrogen from? Uh, we have a couple of hydrogen vents. We have one here. And, oh, I see what Slicky Jeb's trying to do, or Weezer's trying to do. Making me forget. Now I know where the cobalt volcanoes are too. Okay? So there. Wasn't the goal sour gas boiler? Yes. But we are doing it in steps. We'll get petroleum first, and then we'll go to sour gas. Coded says, I saw in the patch notes that Clay added in the code, if you add sour gas to the steam, it will make the steam turbines more efficient. So in turn, Echo should add more sour gas. Don't listen to them, chat. Oh. Naz said, Echo promised us non-space material sour gas boiler. Did I promise it here? If so, I'm going to need to find another geothermal spike. Thank you for the drink. Cheers to you. I think that one was from Soren. I accidentally exited out too quick. All right, this liquid's going down slowly. And the water is almost on top. We still have a little bit of off-gassing here. Let's go check on the rest. Oh, let's check on our skills. We haven't done that in a quick minute. Jari, what's going on with Jari? Only with a nine morale. They must not have eaten yet today or something. Here's Frontima with a seven. Frontima? What's going on? Hot tub. Hot tub needs some skills. Here we go. Some nice plumbing. Bloop, bloop. We'll grab the rocket piloting so eventually we'll get the suit sustainability. Boo, there we go. Um, everything else is going okay-ish. I thought about taking some of this hydrogen and throwing it through the anti entropy thermal nullifier just to keep cooling this place as the aluminum volcano is heating it up what do we think chat what do we like that idea by the way the volcano will win slicky jeb says i don't think you're gonna have a problem with geothermal power with all of this, I know, it's so glorious. So maybe the sour gas boiler goes here. Oh, this is a good spot too. Because it's connected to all the subsidian. Basically, when you're looking for where you're going to put your heat spike, now that we have to go vertical, horizontal, now that we have to go horizontal and we cannot go vertical into a heat spike, oh, right here is glorious. You want a place that has a lot of obsidian because it sort of furthers the heat sink. The other vertical, yes. <laughs> um, you also want one sort of centrally located to the magma biome, your typical magma biome, not this hot mess here. Um, and that way you're able to siphon more heat over a longer period of time. 
Riazor says, real question, why can't we go vertical? Because, um, well, you can in some situations, but not in all. For instance, if I vacuumed out this whole area, I could then go vertical on it. But typically now using, we used to use the doors because you used to be able to dig or dig through doors. Now you can't. This is what we're waiting on. Dex put the process of getting sour gas. Crude oil to petroleum, pro petroleum to plastic, plastic to naphtha, naphtha to sour gas. I mean, that's one way. <laughs> or we could just go crude oil to petroleum, petroleum to sour gas. Anglomo says you can still make a vertical heat spike. It's just a pain in the backside. Yes. Concur. Fun fact, Echo's never had and probably never will have an Insta. I don't think I'm leaving anything on the table either. I don't think anybody wants to see an Echo Insta. I mean, what would I put on it? I feel like everybody, everybody be like, ah, uh, yeah. Let me go back to watching the fitness model. Boop. Look at all this glorious lead. We're getting even more lead. How much diamond do we've gotten? Last time I looked, it was 55. We're up to 61. TikTok as well. Uh, the, prob the problem is TikTok shorts are getting tra crazy traction. Yeah, I just, I have a, I don't know if the audience that watches TikTok is the one that I want, right? I don't necessarily think I want to grab people who are only watching short-term content. I don't know. I'm still undecided because... Some people are going live vertical net these days and they say that it's helping their numbers. I don't see it, but you know. <laughs> Grant Theram says, wait. Echo says, Echo isn't a fitness model. And here I have it. Here I have been subbed to his stream for over a year and this is the first I've heard of it. Whatever. Big Wave Day says, just add a poll and Echo cleavage for TikTok. Delta Force says they found you because of the Chaos Crew play along videos. Very cool, Delta Force. I always love hearing where people sort of discovered with. It helps knowing um, who's who in the zoo. How hot's this stuff up here? How high should we go? Maybe we should just gut it? I don't know. I kind of... Oh, uh, this abyss light's broken. It needs to go away anyways. One, seven, eight. It works. Perfect. We as assist. I think I came around. Aim in around mini base. Ellie says we're off to house hunt for more 
some more for our first home. I just wanted to hop on and see if anything spicy came up on the stream. Ellie, good luck and enjoy. That's always fun. Well, it, it is fun. It could also be frustrated. So don't, try not to let yourself get frustrated. Especially in today's market. Am I right? Eh? <laughs> this has not been plugged in yet. Need more water. How's our water situation doing? <laughs> Hashtag dad, exactly. Um, where is that water coming from? Okay, it's coming from this one. Which is good. And there's it being cleaned. Which is fine. We're about to eat through it. Uh, I suppose we can lower this some more too, can't we? Because I still want to get all of this water out of here. Just in the interest of cleaning, I think. Right? Maybe? Soren said they started watching a different creator play Ani. It was a one-shot, and I was hooked. Then I found you and Francis John and binged the content. Good stuff, Soren. Geeky Gamer says they've been waiting for the rates to drop before they look for their first home. Yeah. I feel that pain. All right, so where's this water going? It's coming up, going in here, through here, and eventually getting used. Oh, but it's only being used if this stuff, when this stuff stops, which that's a long time before it runs through that. Of course, we haven't been doing research either, like a bad streamer. Slicky Jeb says, I have a small project for you. You should drywall the biome. <laughs> the oil biome. The Abyssalite Melter. An Abyssalite Melter. I, I, um, fun fact, I've never made an Abyssalite Melter. And I do not think it's possible without space materials either. But I could I could be wrong on that. Oh, we're out of sedimentary rock again. Come on. Looks like we're up on igneous rock though. Yay! Turtle Hermit says your hatch tutorial video is what led me to you. I needed food and you showed me an easy, reproducible way to get it. And now about eight months later, I've gotten stuck in the greater commuter. Stuck? What do you mean stuck? Watching you echo for so much makes me want to buy a Subaru for some reason. I need to, we need to unpack that halo. Why a Subaru? You can pretty much guarantee that most people here came grow on YouTube because you can grow on YouTube. Oh, because it's a frequent ad on Twitch. <laughs> that is amazing. Plumbing. Uh, did you get stuck, Shallow Pie? What's going on? Why are you just standing there? Here we go again. Whoop. Slicky Jeb says, I'm going to make some guacamole for dinner. Yes, please. I, I too like guacamoles. Oh, this poor Slickster. Let's see if we can move it. I don't think it'll let us. 
When it stands still, it looks like it lets us. There we go. Save the Slickster. King Conus, I appreciate the lurk. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, it got dropped. <laughs> That's bad off. That's bad luck. Cobweb and Rose found the Ani 101. We have binged those and the VODs and started catching the live streams. That's awesome, Otaku. We got a lot of big viewer. We got a big viewer bump off their, the max difficulty achievement run um, beginning. That was a big one for us. Geeky Gamer with the 69 bits. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Guacamole. I love guacamole. I said guacamole. Is that the old joke? Bloop. The Slickster dead? Ah, uh, bye, Slickster. Please tell me that wasn't the last of our Slicksters, though. Where are the rest of the Slicksters? That means I gotta start checking the pod. Ick. Yucky. Those are horrible. Slicky said no, my Slicky brother died. Keep bumping. Pump up the jams. Oh, I might be able to help a little bit. Can I mop? A little bit of mopping. Yes. Brilliant. Um, this can go like that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we have done a pretty good job of crushing this biome, though. Whoop. Uh-oh. That was weird. Eight. I am not the exterminator of Slixers. That was some dupe's fault. You saw me try to move it. I did not kill it. Coachman says, I don't mean to come off as rushing, but I have to go soon for about a half hour. Will we be doing a prediction before 4 p.m.? Um, how about we do it at 4, Codes Man? Thank you, Amy, for that forward. Soren Hero says, Chat, we will probably see some phosphorus gas in the steam room in the near future. I think it's also purple like sour gas. I didn't... That one, yes, says Killer Dove, but what happened to all the rest? I didn't do anything wrong. They died by natural causes. I don't know what to tell you. Whoop. Seven, eight. Oh, no, this is eight, right? Yes. Uh oh, what did I do? Some front of my foot, don't tell him in chat. What am I we what are we not telling Echo now? Don't worry. Some people are loyal. Somebody'll tell me. And then I'll probably miss it. <laughs> Look at all this glorious oil! The potential for there's a slickster! We found one! Boop. Are we out of water now? Yeah, they are out of water. Oh, wait a minute. I can also do this. 
We can use all this water to get through it as well. And the other water is coming from where? Oh, from our steam. Oh, we're down to 20 kilos finally. That only took a month of Sundays. Happy antelope! I imagine a, a cute little antelope plushie. With the three months. I appreciate you. Chat, I might have to take a break in a second. Uh oh, starvation? No. I know I need to check on foods and stuff. Are we doing okay? We seem to be going down in calories. Of course, we're still getting our hatchy boys online. You don't have materials for the water pipes? Did I use sandstone again? Stop being a pleb. Where? I've got too many things going on. Yeah, we got it. We have igneous rock. Um, next time we get another water source, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with it. Oh, I wanted to find out how much igneous rock we're going to be able to produce using these two. Average output of 104... Oh, it's time. It's time. It is now time for stream math. 40% stress. Ringstrom has been. It's a morale issue. I think that's where people are going wrong is with the morale. Which I don't know understand. Unless there's water in here. Are they continuously walking and getting sopping wet? We still have unowned cots. Oh, we only have 29 mess tables. We need another mess table area, too. Water pipes south of the salt water geyser. Oh, these water pipes. Thank you. Igneous. Where are you, Igneous Rock? There we go. We have water on top of the air tile at the clean water tank. That would be where they're getting it. Right here? How did you see that? How in the world did you see that? That's normally why I put a mesh tile there instead. Another pod? Mmm... No. Anemic, can't dig, and flatulent. Alright. Let's make... Uh, do we have granite? We do have granite. We gotta make another mess hall. Where did we say we were going to put it? I like the idea of right here. But it's not big enough, really. So right above here? Ugh. I don't like that either. It seems like it's too separated. Of course, that would be another 20. This is 29. That would get us to 49 duplicates. Hmm. Why is Jar... Oh, okay, this is a, a good room. And Hot Tub's living in here. Hot Tub's not supposed to live in there. Hot Tub has to be in Gen Pop. Here we go. I could move all of these. And then we could make one that's big enough. Yeah. All right, let's do that. First, let me get a... Can they go when they... We need obsidian. I don't know where to put them, chat. I don't know.
I suppose, like, right here is a fine spot. This seems awkward. Rest in peace, Hot Tub. Hot Tub's fine. Aiko with the, the random Ahuga. I need to get rid of this too. Get rid of this water. Now, can you mop it up, please? Thank you. Take a look at this. I thought we cleaned the water under the steam geyser already. What did I do? To clean the water under the steam geyser. The steam geyser. This? Oh, who knows? Oh, under here. I see what you mean. I'm just going to build a little, a little habitat. This is so junky. I'm trying to decide where to put the thing and I'm having like existential crises. This seems like a good idea right here. This is where they're going. No, because I need the, I need the, the air to flow. Obsidian, here we go. Found it, we're good. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Critter drop off. Amy says, I'm in a situation here. I'm hungry, but I have a grocery delivery set to arrive two hours. And no, and now none of the food I have in the house seems as good as the food that's on its way. Two hours? Okay, here's what you do. You have a little snacky. Okay, you have a small snacky, and that way you're still hungry in two hours. Snacky for the win. Have a coffee? Oh no, I could never drink a coffee if I was hungry. Or a tea. Because then you start getting the shakes. There's the vol pup. Slick, uh, no, 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 not Slickster. Shovel, there we go. And 20 critters is fine. Now, invariably, someone is going to drop a shovel. That's okay. We're going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Didn't I just... Alex, where'd you go? Thank you, Weezar. Didn't you just name the tiles from Sandstone? Make the tiles? No way. Oh my goodness! I could have sworn I selected Obsidian. No! There they go. There they all go. Why am I the way I am? I don't know. I don't... Now it's chaos. The caffeine zoomies? No, go get them. Go get them right now. At least they're stuck on the interior because they can't go anywhere from here. Oh, don't sit in the steam. Oh, this is going to be problematic. <laughs> Ed says, be free, little shovels. Yeah, this is definitely chaos in progress. I would agree with that. Where are the rest of them? And we have one egg. Oh, I know there's more. We're going to be finding shovels for the next 400 cycles. Ugh. 
Amy presses buzzer. Mr. Echo, I've been getting reports of critters running wild through the area, and someone from the wall building department wanted me to forward a memo about the structural integrity of our new critter pen. <laughs> oh. Suit wearing flatulent rocket. Nope. I'll take the fertilizer. Um, okay, is that settled? And we have water coming in. Why don't we have water coming in? Because you don't have any power. Whee! There we go. Look at all the- Look at all them bowls! <laughs> Soren, in with the appendiculate! Oh, thank you. I am Killer Dove says, Echo, I told you about the chat official opinion. No, I don't know what the chat official opinion is. Oh, the chaos. <laughs> oh, we finally got it. How about this? How's this doing? It's a lot of natural gas, but there's still some carbon dioxide. It'll take a while. But eventually it will be cleared out. And since this is done, I can now just get rid of this. And all of this nonsense. And now we need to sweep all of that. Get rid of that, this, this, that. Yes! Tell me again, why do we not want to have a TikTok account? Um, so every account that I add is more work for me. And so I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze because the average person on TikTok is not looking for oxygen not included content. Oh, why am I deleting that? My goodness. Why doesn't it have power? What happened? What's going on? Why are... It's something to do with this one. No. Okay, that was weird. Are we out of natural gas? We are out of natural gas and hydrogen. We still have these ridiculous coal generators up here. I don't even want to put coal generators up there. I want to get rid of all these. I definitely need to get rid of these. Where's that? We need a hydrogen pipe going down. Except it also has to be... You guessed it. Insulated. Now, how's this going to get in? Through here? That'll be fine. It's going to be fine, chat. Then we can flip it over to a normal one. There we go. Ah. Oh no, not the heat death. Naz, there's no heat death. All right, so that can now go in here, which means I can finally get rid of this nonsense. Oh, where's this one going? Where are you coming from? Oh, this spawn. Okay, well, you can join the other one. Bloop, bloop. Go here. Oh, this is glorious. Even more hydrogen. And those hydrogen generators are inside a power room. I just heard them. I heard them, chat. Don't even say it. There's a shovel somewhere. There it is. 
Found one. Oh, and there's an eggy. Even if I don't catch you, your ancestors are going to be trapped. Ha <laughs> ha. And only 50 tons of rock used. I know it's horrible. KB says, let me explain something. You can put some funny moments from streams like this moment when the voice voles escaped. It could be one TikTok in a month, let's say, but then somebody would search Ani on TikTok and they might see you, which is a true statement. Um, but unfortunately, I have to get the clips to do that. And you guys don't clip me a lot. And I don't want to take the time to edit it out. I can do it with a clip. It's, it, I don't just don't know if the juice is worth a squeeze. Eventually, I'm going to have an editor, right? I'm going to have a full-time editor that does nothing but just dump more content onto the internet for me. Until that time happens, uh, this, this is what we got. Fix the camera? What's wrong with the camera? I would like to name the show Volcorid Beans. <laughs> no. Oh. What's wrong with the camera? You're in the wrong spot? What's... We Azar, it's okay if I'm in a different spot today. It's okay. I promise. All right. Is everything good now? Ish? Is that hydrogen going to the right spots? Yes. You kept my points? Of course I did. You, the, you did the point thingy. Two things are there. Dupes with Lux packs that are not in special... Tubes... Jerifa said, two things are there. Dupes with Lux packs that are not in special rooms. I thought there was a dupe with me. And for the filter, there is no bride where it goes through the joint plate. There's no bridge where it goes through the joint plate. A filter where it goes... Through the joint plate. This filter? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, this filter here. Well, we don't need this. No, it should be nothing but hydrogen now. Well, as soon as they get it going. Um, but... And we had to move somebody out of your room because they were not a luxury dupe member. It was hot tub. And I actually got to, I have to move you anyways. Because you're sitting in the future mess hall. <laughs> I guess we don't have to right now. We can do something like this. Whoop. There we go. Dupe hasn't been upgraded to the luxury pack, I think. No, the only one um, Jerry did. Carrie's dupe? Yeah, they have. Kiri. And Kiri is living... Where is Kiri living? Oh, Cuddle Pip's sneaking up. In here, too. We need more regular rooms, apparently. Let's put some regular... One day, we're going to pay more attention to the main part of the colony. Today is not that day. Was that four, seven... Is personal cuddle pit part of the luxury pack? No. It's back feeding hydrogen to the spawn. Yeah, I know. It's because they haven't finished this run. No, that's not it. It's because it's not a bridge. They need a bridge here. Dang it! Because right now it's doing a 50-50 split. No 50-50 split. There we go. Yes. 
beautiful ish. What are you doing, little Sage Hatchy? You can come up here, buddy. Oh, found another one! Wart seed. Slow learning. Critter reverse. Noodle arms. Wart seed. Oh! I just accidentally printed that dupe. Oh. Oh. Farmer researching tidying. You're a slow learner. Oh, well. Well, if you fancy yourself a slow learner, put in Echo's little accident. <laughs> Ed put, already put in a dupe raffle. That is so great. Um, put in a dupe raffle now. That is hilarious. Mr. Mr. Brain, welcome back. I could not believe I just clicked it like that. Errant clicking. <laughs> that is so good. Camille, yes, I'm sorry to say this. You were a mistake. <laughs> Oh, it! welcome to the misprints. Oh, that's perfect, Dark Wizard. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, man. <laughs> that is so good. Camille, what are you... You're such a hodgepodge. Researching. Well, we can get rid of some of the slow learning by putting them into research. Military intelligence, right here. They could also be a farmer. Yeah, we're going to put them into field research. Just into field research, though. Just to offset the slow learning. And then we'll go up into farming. <laughs> Can we give her a dumb sticker? How do you give dumb stickers? You are going to do farming and ranching. All right, chat. I'm about to burst at the seams. Let's, uh... Oh, look, we've got a vacuum. That means when we come back, we're going to start building a petroleum boiler. I mean, that's always fun. Let me make sure everybody's hooked up. We got water here. Oh, yes. Whoop. And you need some power. Of course you do. Just take a look at this. Dear Chat and Echo, a.k.a. The Perpetrator, I hereby invite you all to the funeral of my beloved brother, Slicky Slickster, which will take place this Wednesday at Echo's stream. <laughs> no, Slicky's back. Slicky's somewhere. Oh, look. See? Slicky. <laughs> the problem is they keep trying to jump down. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this massive... Please get rid of all the carbon dioxide. Still a little bit of carbon dioxide in there. The natural gas will continue to to float. It's probably going to be stuck with a bunch of polluted oxygen and stuff too. Because it's going to sit at the bot top. I don't know. It's a good start, right? Eh. Alright, I'll be right back. I thought I had the... No mute, mute audio and unfocus. Thank you. There we go. That way everybody can listen to the tunes. There we go. I'll be right back, chat.
Chat, what are you up to? Don't make me come back there. Don't make me come back there. What is this nonsense? What is this nonsense? Uh-huh. <laughs> Scatter. Run. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much. <laughs> Everybody having a dance party? First time chatter, Flynn Winch. Welcome. <laughs> what is going on? What did I miss? Here we go. Uh huh. I don't know what was going on. Did everybody vanish their their chat? Something something sneaky is happening. Something sneaky. Uh, mute went unfocused. Yes. First time chatter, E2 Mui, 1987. I'm sure I butchered that one. Welcome. We need some clay um, drops. They're coming. They are coming. They're slowly adding more bl um, blueprinty things. <laughs> Something sus. Flynn, what do you play on? Uh, what do you play on Twitch? What are you into? Welcome to stream. <laughs> I'm looking around for spawn with infinite storage built in. Are you using one? No, I use um, the standard. The standard Rodriguez. We have a couple. We have Team Red and Team Blue right now. All right, let's go back. We're now going to be building our petroleum boiler, and Codes Man's back so we can do our, our prediction. Oh, let me do the dupe raffle before we do the prediction. Not too many things at once. Flynn's usually playing some MMOs, but I like to slowly. Long time playing on it. Very cool. Let me get... Oh, there's sound alerts mixed in this, too. Oh, Jarifa already rolled it. Way to go, Jarifa. I'll take it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is Minu Zeta. And we're going with Henry the Eighth. Henry the Eighth. How did they spell eighth? Eight. Henry the Eighth? <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, where are you? Camille? Henry the Eight. Boom. All right, now let's get that prediction going. I don't know if the queen's back from um, her break yet. Echo, you don't have a liquid lock for your crude oil biome, so you'll have CO2 indefinitely. Yeah, that's true. We got it. We have a filter on it though, so it's not bad. All right, um, you may not need, are you trying to, um, Flynn, are you trying to go for infinite liquid or infinite, uh, gas? Thanks for the follow, Flynn. The blueprint is up, right? So if you want to, you know, put a, put down on the prediction with some of your echoes, we're wondering if it's going to be clothes, if it's going to be drywall, or is it going to be something else? Oh, Turtle's going all in. If you're going all in, we ought to make it a thing. If you're going all in, you got to say all in. We need a payphone for Amy from Earth, says Cocky Chick. You know we're never getting a payphone. Infinite gas built in because I need to do a massive one. I'm at cycle 2800 soon, so I really need to get my hydrogen and oxygen for rockets. Um, You do you, boo, of course, but... In your liquid, so there's a couple of methods you can use. One, build your liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen 
do another spawn in space. Make sure you have back background on it, right? So it doesn't go away. But then you're just going to turn all that gas into a liquid. Anyway, so, and the liquid holds, every tile holds a lot more liquid than it does a gas. That's one method. Oh, there's a lot of people going all in. We have three minutes left and there's already over 100,000 echoes. Someone get Ed. They're lurking and might miss the prediction. It's all right. Ed's always going bankrupt with the prediction. So it's good that they miss one. All right, let me... Hmm. Yeah, it's time to start on this. For those of you who have never built a petroleum boiler, um, the reason why we do this, okay, is it is ridiculously efficient. It takes a little bit of work, okay? But the idea is that you're taking crude oil, which flashes to petroleum at 399 degrees. This is an important number here. 399.9 degrees. When you add in the 1.2 degrees of flex that clay puts into the simulation, just so things aren't flashing back and forth, it's about 402 degrees. All right? So 402 degrees is the sort of target mark. We still haven't scooped up this goodies. What, what is this? Liquid phosphorus. I'll put it right in here. I am not scared, and then I'll empty it. We finally drawn all the abyssalite, uh, heat out of that abyssalite, too. How about we start with wallpaper so you don't forget? <laughs> now, the traditional way of using... Where are we? Refinement is using the oil refinery. But notice the oil refinery takes 10 kilos of crude oil and 480 watts to turn it into five kilos worth of petroleum and 90 grams of natural gas. In this method, we're gonna be going from 10 kilos to crude oil to 10 kilos per second of petroleum. So it's a lot more potential for power. What do we, what do you do to deal with the carbon in the base? How do you filter it out? Um, we're not filtering it. It's just coming all the way up and going all the way up and being vented into the vacuum of space. It's like space is the world's biggest buffer tank, right? It's going somewhere. All right, let me, we've got the vacuum. So we should we build the, we have to build the spike first and make sure it's working before we do any of this nonsense. Otherwise we will be in deep trouble. So let's start by deconstructing these and getting them out of here. How much diamond did we manage to maintain? 75 tons of diamond. Eat your heart out, baby. Oh, wow. We, I think we set a record on the predictions. We have 111, 178, 100, 180,000, I think. That's a lot. Here we go. Maybe today's the day. Okay. Maybe today is the day. I'm not going to look. Here we go. No. No, no special sound. It's a beaker hanging pot. I like it though. It's a common. The beaker hanging pot is a common. I mean, that's a win-win. I don't understand why this is why this is a common. Congratulations to everybody who went others. That's got me curious. No, 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 don't go to the colony summary. The beaker hanging pot. How is this a common? So is the puzzle cube hanging pot. 
I guess. Should we go look at it while we're here? There it is. In all of its glory. Rigged. <laughs> it's not rigged. <laughs> oh, Slicky Jeff lost 15,000 echoes. This is why you don't gamble. You only gamble with what you have in excess. You don't gamble with what you need. By the way, who run the Oops Dupe naming raffle? That was me, New Zeta. There, I mean, look at it. Mm. My colony doesn't have any of these yet. You think? <laughs> All right. I am thinking we are gonna dive. This is gonna be a huge spike. This is gonna be a thick spike. Mm -hmm. I think we're going thick spike. Questionable sanity with the prime for two months. It says usually stuck in VOD land and YouTube, but happy to catch you live, even if I'm at work. I appreciate it, questionable sanity. Thank you for stopping by, and I appreciate the uh, the, the primer. I'm gonna go. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Look at this glorious spike. R. Williams with the drink. I appreciate you. Wait, I'm sexy in with the seven months. Thanks for the seven months. Are you in a vacuum? Yes, yes, yes. I'm in a vacuum. Don't scare me that way. Don't scare me. You're forgetting the wallpaper, the spike. I can't wallpaper the spike. We're using window tiles. I am... You can't put wallpaper behind... You can do that, but it's not supposed to. That's a bug. We need the flower beaker in there. We don't need the flower beaker front. <laughs> oh. uh, let's go with... I'm filling in this spike, by the way. In case you're wondering. I'm not just leaving it like this. I'm filling it in like that. Because what this is going to be is metal tiles. No, this will probably still be diamond. Then the door. Then we'll build the spiky thing. It's it's a whole thing. Because the more heat you can bring in through the obsidian and have it hold the diamond, the faster and the more efficient your 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 uh, hot plate's gonna work. Silco says, I must say, wallpapers behind window tiles would look fancy. Um, they, it was happening occasionally in my, um, in our Chaos Crew play along. I don't know how it happens, but it happens. What? No rail of rotating diamonds to draw me heat? No. Not until uh, we start drying all this. Put a ladder up and a wallpaper behind it. Replace the ladder with the windows. So you want me to use an exploit, Weazar? <laughs> Does the magma need to touch the diamond for a good heat spike? No. Um, because the diamond is touching the obsidian, which the obsidian is getting its heat from the magma. The question is, where am I going to bring it in? So I'm guessing the it's going to be here. So we need to start designing it. Heat plate there. So door here. With metal tiles. I'm thinking door here. 
do let me get this going real quick. Uh, where are you going? Not with lead. That would be bad, bad. It's going to come up here. And then I need a little bit of power. This is also going to be steel. There we go. <laughs> Flynn's like, lead? Oh, yeah. Oh, trust me. Welcome to Echo Ridge Gaming. We do all sorts of stupidity here. I, it's not lead anymore. I fixed it. It's steel now. It's okay, chat. Whoop. You want a green signal on that door? We'll flip it back and forth. Uh, let's see, right here. So it's actually one too high. Right, because heat plate, yep. And then the sensor is right there. Thermo sensor, steel, pink. Can't finish the spike. I give me a second. Patience. Somebody hand out the cookies and lemonade. Boop. Echo, you have plenty of diamond. Why not use temperature shift plates instead of tiles? Um, they would be directly connected here. I just, I don't ever get into that habit. Um, first of all, diamond, I do have plenty of diamond. Because of the whole temperature shift plate problem that when they're connected to a building, they work, but the ones connected to it doesn't, but this would, it would still work because it's only two. I mean, it would be kind of sexy. It wouldn't work through here. And it would hold a lot more heat. I like, I like Naz's idea. The only reason this is going to work because it's only two tiles high. Will it melt? No, diamond is uh, diamond is tough. Four thousand degrees. So we will do Naz's idea works in this case, but don't get in the habit of using diamonds for your heat spike or um, temperature shift plates for your heat spike, because here's some. Let me give the example. Let's pretend this is the heat spike. These two temperature shift plates will be able to draw in heat because they're connected to a building. This temperature shift plate will not get any. This um, temperature shift plate is not connected to a building, so it will not be able to draw in temperature. So be real careful. Whee! And this will help me build it quack quicker too. Um, that'll be it for drawing in heat. So these will be diamond, 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 diamond. And then these will be metal because I don't want it to go up too fast. Who knows, yo? Lord Razor with the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome. Now see, see this window tile? This temperature shift plate is still able to draw draw the temperature from it. And since temperature shift plates, and the reason why I changed my mind is because the temperature shift plates are 800 kilos, which is the 100 kilos worth of the window tile, so it'll be able to hold one a lot more heat. Oh, look how nice that looks, too. And then we're going to, once we get that out, we'll seal it in with some more diamond here. Because, again, this, actually, this would still work right here because temperature ship plates actually are one of the few buildings that have eight directional, uh, they can draw temperature in from eight, eight directions, 
Whereas normal buildings only do the cardinal directions, the four primary cardinal directions. So it would still work here, but it would not work here. These temperature shift plates would not touch anything. Boop, boop. Why do we still have an oxygen morning? Who knows? It's... Yeah, there's definitely no oxygen problems. Ooh, what do we have in the pod? If these had more interest, I'd think about it because squeamish is not too bad. I mean, squeamish is great, to tell you the truth. Especially when you don't injure dupes, like we don't. Won't the last one of those temperatures put a ton of heat into that first insulated tile? Yeah, it will. Boop. Slowly but steadily. But once it gets there, it's not going anywhere because the insulated tile is not giving it back. Uh, the only thing I could really do is... I suppose... Do like that. That'll work too. The ign it melt the igneous rock? Uh, I think it would get to the juicy point. Yeah, it might melt it. That's a fair point. There we go. That'll be a little bit better. Now I'm filling this in like this and like this. Slow but steadily. Once we get the temperature plate, this is where everybody always messes up, right? This is where I, let me say I always mess up. <laughs> because you have to keep this door shut. Pause it and make sure this thing is set correctly so it's not transferring heat into your temperature, your, your heat plate. Otherwise, your heat plate's instantly gonna boil that oil into petroleum and then the petroleum into sour gas and then everybody in chat wins the game and we don't want chat to win the game no we do not <laughs> can we have a prediction uh yeah let's do a prediction for that now remember not a poll. Predict. No, not raid. Prediction. Start prediction. Will Echo's Petro Boiler make sour gas? Yes, no. You have five minutes starting now. Now keep in mind. You know once it's stable, it's not going to be making sour gas. We're not talking about next stream or anything like that. We're talking about just right now for this initial setup. Or once we get it going and flowing. All right, power. I do need some power. Uh, lead's not a good idea in here. Let me check cobalt. Yeah, 1494. It's good. Now or anytime. Anytime until we have a steady flow of petroleum coming out. It looks like a sideways thermos or something. Ed says, Echo, do not lose my echoes. <laughs> oh, wow. We got big money going in, too. Big money. Jareef is going all in. We're still losing food. Let me plant the rest of these... Uh, these bristle blossoms, just in case. Little sage hatchling. How 
How are we doing on that hydrogen front, by the way? Oh, good. Look at this. Overheat? Oh, for the love of Pete! I need to add more obsidian. Let me try that. All right. Back here. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. The door has to be closed. No, Mr. Rusty. The door does not have to be closed. The door needs to stay open. First time chatter, R. Williams is all in as well. Stomp him says, I want sour gas, but I'm giving you the faith. Throw the echoes at the wall, see if they stick, says Gilden Squid. Hold! Now I need metal tiles. We're gonna go like this. Actually, let me start with the insulated. And uh, yeah, let me let me do the design. So this is gonna be fine. Let's get the lead out really quick. We're gonna come all the way up here. Oh yeah, two should be fine. Probably to let's say they can still get in here and work, right? Yeah, they will be there. Gilded Squid says, I'm so going to lose all my echoes. Where's the fate? The no has the money. There is almost 100,000 echoes says that we will not make sour gas. All right, we are connected with power. Everything's good so far. Steel's in. Let's say we have up to here. Oh, no, because the hot plate's right here. So I want it a little taller than that. I want it like this. So this is where it's going to flow over. Flow over. Then come down. Shimmy, shimmy, Cocoa Puff. Shimmy, shimmy, wow. And then it's going to go like this. Oh, what is this? Stop with the sandstone. Clay. Clay, please, please help me help you. Whoop. Uh, this can stop there. And then it's going to go like, what? Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Right here. <laughs> Flynn says there's no way this is ending well. Look, I'm a professional gamer. I mean, I even have a command that says I'm a pro. It's a thing. Somebody might get stuck here, but you know. Uh, I do not like that for sure. Oh, they're about to get stuck, stuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pyroid maniacs grabs a thing of popcorn. Oh, ye of little faith. Ye of... Why is this sandstone again? Silly sandstone. Shallow pie, why are you sleeping down here? Oh, because it's three tiles. Ha 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 ha. Quickly, please, before Shallow Pie has a conniption fit. Oh, no! 
Why aren't you going up over... I guess you're still waiting for this, too. Come on. It's just... Nope. Why are you building that tile when I told you to build this ladder? Now you'll build it, won't you? Oh my gosh. Is shallow pie unconstructive? There we go. Hurry home. Sheesh, Louise. Yeah, somebody else had the errand. Um... It will liquid, but it'll liquid lock in there, so I'm not going to do that. And then we'll have the last one here. This will be the last one. No, we're not starting the pink gas chant, okay? That's not a thing. Oh my gosh. Now, the sandstone, you don't need to be too scared of the sandstone. Um, because the insulated tiles aren't going to go up in heat. So that's not a big deal. I probably am going to need... Oh, you're trapped. Of course you're trapped. Of course you are trapped. Don't kill Absolutina. <laughs> oh... Some dupe so far away has this command. Is this because of the sour gas comment? Now what, Absolute? Now what? Look at your little hair, though. It's so cute. I love the style. Is this broken? What do we have here? Petroleum. How do we have petroleum up here? It's only 65 degrees. <laughs> Look at Henry the Eighth. Wee, hello. <laughs> oh, I gotta go pick up all this polluted water, don't I? None there. Nobody peed their pants. Okay. P plus crude oil equals petroleum. All right, that's good. And back down here. Why aren't we deconstructing this? I better get in here and deconstruct these. Get rid of this. This can go here. So we've got the guts, right? Now it's time to put in some metal tiles. You could use conduction panels to cool the turbines and avoid the need to have a layer of liquid. We have conduction panels in there. Um, and it, they still weren't... It wasn't cold enough. Because these things run a lot. Overheat damage again. I will win this battle. I'm going to win this battle. We're at now, we're hovering around 240 degrees. It's during these things spikes, and they're both erupting right now, too. All right. That is good. How's the temps on this? Oh, 630. No. We'll leave it just like that. Uh, nope. I want to pick all this up first. And we'll also need some cobalt. For this. Oh, it's almost petroleum time! Yes! I'm gonna anticipate the next patch and only use one gas reservoir. Because we have to save up for the petroleums. 
No, what? We're out of copper ore again. We gotta have area for petroleum. They make you feel happy. Yeah, this make me feel happy too. Uh, they can all come out there. I love big gas reservoirs and I cannot lie. Buffer tanks of all kinds, really. We're also gonna have petroleum storage up here and then some petroleum generators inside here. How big is this room here? How big? 64? We're gonna go bigger. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the tuchus. Because I'm gonna have to build these out. Yeah. What do we got? What is this? 84? 92? So hard to see. Background, background. Did I miss the sour gas as Angry Forest? <laughs> Ooh, we got jokes. All right, so that is going there, still flowing. But this one can go away. Let's get working on this some more. Steel, 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 steel. Yes, yes, yes. I'm using steel and not diamond, by the way, because steel will take the temperature slower. So it'll be less of a chance of too much heat spiking into the petroleum boiler at once. We A's are entombed. Uh, really? How did you manage? Oh, this is not good either. How much breath do they have? Or is this one of those cases where they don't breathe while they're entombed? So they could sit there indefinitely? Where's their suit? Low oxygen, zero. Yep. They're just not breathing. And their breath is at 100%. There we go. <laughs> Wikipedia says, okay, who had entombed dupe on their bingo sheet? <laughs> oh, what? There's nothing to take a picture of yet. All right. Maybe this will be it. Ooh, Ghost Rider says, may I recommend um, drag area more visible to be able to see the numbers easier? Oh, you're fine. Just go eat. I'll keep an eye on that one. I'll take a look at that one. Because the idea of being able to see, if it's thin, because remember, I've been trying to get rid of mods. No, not you, mods. For the simple reason that it's been, um... I've been crashing on my other playthrough. Here we go. Oh, I can get rid of this one now? Yes. Let's make sure it doesn't, and none of it climbs there. And then I can put some of these beautiful things right here. This is 84. Not bad. It's not bad. I don't want the dupes to be able to jump over there. 
But I want more room. Because I think this is where we're going to put our uh, petroleum. Of course, I could just go like this. Petroleum storage! You're the one! Whoop! Steel! And build eggs. And one more. Unmas. Absolute says, Echo, the wiki just gave me an amazing idea. What if you actually had a bingo... Go oh, Wikipedia is not the wiki. Bingo gong, we're starting a new call on this all following. We used to do daily bingos. We used to have bingos. That's where they get that from. Um, we used to do a new bingo sheet every stream. We were try. Unfortunately, it was a very manual process. So we did not keep doing it. We tried to find... There was a software engineer working on the capability... And I don't know where that ever went. It was a good game. It was fun. Yeah, the bot never got realized. Uh, deconstruct! And one more door. There we go. Oh, they can't reach these either? For the love of... Peetsies. Steel. Let's go... Yeah, I guess we can just go like that for now. This... Oh, and somebody reminded me in the comments on the VOD. Uh, m mad love to the VODlanders out there, by the way. Um, they were wondering if I ever set this timer sensor, and it looks like I did. It's point one of a cycle for... Oh, no, it was on the igneous rock. It was up here. Yeah. We're letting... Look at this mistake. We're letting igneous rock come through every 10 seconds regardless. When it's supposed to be just for one second, every cycle, just to help prevent clogs. Ha <laughs> Flutterdash says there are bingo card generators out there. Do you give them a bank of things to take it from? The, we were trying to do it to where people could do it in a Discord channel. So they would go to Discord, hit a command, it would spit out a new bingo table. But a website would work just as well, I suppose. Yeah, some of this igneous rock is 80 degrees because it was just coming through. Still fine. I'm still happy about it, but yeah. Now it's fixed. Oh, look at all it just go through. This igneous rock is already down to like 36 degrees. Mm. How's the hydrogen gas tamer doing, by the way? Yeah, it heats the metal tile up, but not very much. I love it. I love it. All right, that can get resealed. This is for a pump. A pump soul, brother. Where are you shipping? Pump, plumbing, steel. Now plumbing. All right, so here's the difficult part. Remember, you're going to take all this fresh petroleum and you're going to have it counter flow the oil. And you counter flow the oil because that's just smart business. Let's go, say, here.
We'll do... Yeah, this is fine right here. So the oil is going to... The oil is going to counterflow. This is coming straight up and out. Because it should already be cool-ish. So we want to heat it up slowly. So we'll start with radiance... Right here. Wasn't there a pump before in that spot? Maybe. <laughs> it wasn't the same Z spot. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll use cobalt because we have so much about it, so much of it. And I do not want to use aluminum because it transfers way too fast. I like I like being cautious. This is gonna go up and over and up and then tuck and yup yup yups. And then this is the place where I do not use, to start off with, I do not use Radiance. I will slowly add more Radiance. That way we don't get bursty pipes. Echo should have his own bingo. Things like Weezer calls for wallpaper. <laughs> Caution does not equal chaos, though. I get this, Angry. I get it. But I have to be smart. Because right now... A lot of the monies is depending on me. A lot of the echoes. All right, now we can scoot this up. Add one more plate. Did I want to add one more plate? Yeah. I guess. That means that'll be our petroleum boiler right there, which is fine. How long will that heat spike provide enough heat? Um, first time chatter, McKeegan ST I. Um, longer than we will ever be playing this game because of the heat spike being connected to the obsidian, which is connected to all this magma. Like, I'm, if I were to guess, 50,000 cycles, like something ridiculous. Jimmy T Time says 1,500 plus cycles. I'm saying like 15,000 cycles. Because remember, it only flashes it in a second. And it only does that a couple of times a cycle. And the heat just stays in there. It's so... It's going to be glorious. It's going to be glorious. Wikipedia says, shh, don't distract the moon. He's working with heat. <laughs> All right, these tiles are only 60 degrees, which means right now is when I want to put the oil in. But we have to make sure when we do drop it in, because as soon as it goes above 700, it's going to open. So I'm going to say if it's below 5,000 to keep that door open. That's the key. All right, now this is going to be fine. Coming in. I need to walk it through in my head some more. Yes, below 9,000. I'm just ensuring no matter what comes into contact with this, it's going to be below 9,000 degrees, which means it's still going to be sitting, sending a green signal. All right, how's this line doing? 1,800 watts. That's glorious. Uh... This would bring it over. I don't love that. How often is it using that 1800? It's pretty steady because of what it does. Um, and if I fry a wire over here, we're in big trouble, mister. So I think it is time to get another power source through here. This can be lead. Not right there. And yeah, we'll go something like... Oh, 
Oh, stop using lead. Stop using lead right there. <laughs> Chat, you were hoping. You were hoping. Yeah. That looks good. Oh, jeez. My clicking is just all over the place today. Lead gas boiler. You know what we ought to do? Oh my goodness. Why haven't I ever thought of this? We ought to have Ani Trivia. Ani Trivia would be amazing. Like on a Friday night or something? We Azar said, ew, echo without glasses. I hope you know, we are. every day after the stream, I go into the bedroom and I look in the mirror and I cry for all the mean stuff that you say to me, we are. <laughs> Sleep on that! <sighs> all right. <laughs> Who knows, y'all said, jeez, how did that feel? <laughs> we either sound, sounds like you need thicker skin. Oh, that's hilarious. All right. Uh, da, da, da. This is good. Oh, whoa. See, this, this could have been bad. This could have been bad if I did not flip that thermal sensor. <laughs> Woo, we got away with one there. Believe it or not, this thing's almost done. The only thing we are going to need is the a flow control. Uh, where's my plumbing? I want some flow control. Liquid valve? Yeah, this is fine. And then this is going to be bringing the wonderful petroleum out. And it can go up, cross the bridge, up through here. This is our destination. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, no, wrong way, wrong one. We're down to 203,000 calories. We are losing calories. Once we finish with this, getting our power and everything online, we're gonna have to figure that out. How did you know the number of zigzags? This is just swag. You can make them a lot smaller. They're, the, the number of levels is not, it's not set, right? Sometimes if you only need to have room for like two or three levels just make them longer you'll see in a second i've also just built a ton of these they're not they're actually not as um how do you say it they're not as rigid it's not a very rigid design because you tell you the truth, you don't even need the counterflow heat exchanger. You would just be wasting a lot more heat. And I'll, I'll, we'll go over that all in a second. Right now, I'm going to start it off with one kilo per second. We're going to get plastic everywhere out of here. <laughs> Chat's not winning that one. Alright, so this is good now. We've got all the temperature shift plates in the world here. Please let this work for once. I think I gotta get rid of that one first. Petroleum's gonna come in. Go like this, go like this, go like this. I kind of wanted to line them up here. Petroleum generators out of steel. Two, three. 
I need to move that four. Uh, I guess it can go right here. That's fine. And the reason why is because I wanted to... Oh, wait. That one's too far over. There we go. That way, the, it hits this hot plate. Are you going to finish the wall up on the lower area? Down here? No. Um, I got to put a hydro sensor in here. But that's about it. I'm assuming you that's what you meant. Oh, I do need one right like here. That will work. All right, now where were we here? I don't love... Why why is everything taking so long with 31 duplicates? Oxifern definitely. We only have one idle dupe. We're going to have to check a lot of You plan to pump 100 degree petroleum through CO2 shaft in the regular pipes? I mean, it doesn't really matter. CO2 does not transfer heat very well. Um but that's a fair point. Ooh, whoop. Whoop. Big planet, long travel. That could be it. That's fair, Colonel Sanders. Freak TV, welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. How was your day? Okay, here we go. Ah! Oh, we got to separate this nonsense here. There we go. Where are my pipes? Pipes! Snope! Get it together, Echo! Alright. Pop! Got to cycle 2600 or so in search of water for the dupes, yeah. I feel that water pain. I feel that water pain. Oh, we're already too full. Okay, let's stop that nonsense right now. Stopping the nonsense. Mopping it up. Do I do my own avatars? Asked McKeegan. No. Um, the wonderful Draken's Haven does. You can look them up on uh, a lot of places. X or Twitter, Instagram, I believe. They also have a Deviant Art portfolio. No, 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 no. Of course, of course. It's okay, it's okay, I'm going to win. Don't you worry. All right, now let's get all of this going. Whew! Mop this up. There's probably still oil somewhere in here. Okay. There it is. Boop! Purple gas will win, says Flynn. Flynn, if I remember correctly, you are fairly new here. I'm telling you, there'll be no sour gas. The no's are about to double their echoes. <laughs> Mr. Rusty in with a drink and a pendiculate. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Rusty. All right, they're slowly picking all that stuff up. I want to wait. It's all gone. It's gone from here. Very nice. All 
Uh, I guess I'm gonna do another one of these pumps because this has taken ridiculously a long, a long amount of time. Liquid phosphorus. I wanted to move this in here and just empty it. Still thinking the insulated tiles might break? What, here? It can happen. It definitely can happen. Um, it's one of the reasons why I leave the two dig shaft. So some people go, some people use it like this, right? They build a thin petroleum. I don't. That way I can go do maintenance. I like doing the maintenance. Anonymous gifter again. I don't know who you are, but one day, mad hugs. Thank you, Anonymous, for the gifted sub. From the office of Echo Ridge Gaming. The official stance of Echo Ridge Gaming is that the sour gas was always just in your own head. There is no sour gas. I, I mean, I tried telling them, Amy. But now that it's on paper, I mean, that should help. See, now don't go away. There was plenty more you could have went and picked up. We're not, nope, there's not gonna be any pink gas. Is sour gas pink? Somebody said it was purple earlier. I think they were just screwing with me, but, or maybe it was the phosphorus gas that's purple. This stuff right here. Let's try it. Empty. There we go. Now we're, we're cooking with oil. Ha <laughs> ha. Oop. Naz and his dotes. That must be Naz's favorite. I think it's Naz's favorite. Dravy says, I forget what color sour gas is. Can you make some real quick? You don't want to see... Well, you probably want to see sour gas. You just weren't able to do the prediction. Uh-oh. What is that? Entombed? Why? Okay, what's going on? Where is this phosphorus coming from? I'm going to mop, sweep all this stuff up, too. Because there's more petroleum again. No Drekos. We'll just keep, we'll sweep all this up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, uh, two more, I guess. Uh, I need a hydro sensor on here to stop this when we are full. I don't want to look at the chickens right now. Don't you see? See, I'm winning the internet. Pyromaniac with the, with the dot, dot, dot. You have one sick dupe, says Flit. Oh, well. No further statements at this time. Mr. Echo appreciates all the questions and concerns. We'll do everything in its power to make sure your concerns are addressed to the best of the ability into his own personal satisfaction. <laughs> oh. All right. So this, so we, we talked a little bit earlier about why a petroleum boiler is so powerful. Um, and here you're about to see why. And it has to do with the basics of, or the efficiency of it, not necessarily on what we are doing. So, as soon as I can click my right button, there we go. Um, this oil, this oil here is gonna get boiled and turned into petroleum. The petroleum is then gonna flow down here and slowly heat up all this crude oil. The only time where we're using power is when this door is shut. Now, right now, I'm going to flicker this. And it's going to be a little bit of a flicker um, for a few seconds and turn it off because I need to boil all this crude oil before I can turn this on. But if I get squirreled and sidetracked, then we're going to have a bunch of sour gas everywhere. Notice this is all in a vacuum. It has to be in a vacuum, and that way heat's not... You're not exchanging heat with other things. Drywall the sour gas boiler. Okay. I, hold, please hold. Please, I have to put drywall in before chat has a conniption fit. We will be using obsidian because it gets hot in here. What are we going to use? 
Maybe the pastel yellow? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use pink. That way you won't even be able to see the sour gas if there is any. <laughs> oh, yes. Bloop. <laughs> Just as a way to throwing shade at everybody who voted for yes, there would be sour gas, right? This. this is for you. This is just your reminder. This is the only pink you're getting all day. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, baby. Yeah. Yes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, deconstruct that one. <laughs> no innuendo intended, of course not. Weazer says sour gas is purple, I swear. <laughs> uh, we also have to be able to get in here, so I will go... A little ladder action. Look at all the dupes! <laughs> there was no dupe problem, apparently. Pastel pink obsidian. Looks so pretty. You know, if you make a timer sensor connected to an alarm, you can force it to pause every cycle for you to monitor the petroleum boiler. We'll model it live just for a minute. But once it's working, it's just stable. Like, it, it just... It doesn't quit. It's the most ridiculous system in the game. All right. Let me now start injecting a little heat. To inject it, I'm literally just going to hit above. Which will put a bunch of temperature in here. Blue, blue, blue. Uh, below. Metal tiles are at 400, still dumping in. We're up over 100 in the crude oil. And yes, I'm doing this a little slow just to be careful. Just to be careful. Because I am not going to give chat the satisfaction of seeing sour gas, okay? That's where we are, <laughs> all right? How the heck is that working, asks Suarez. All right, so the diamond is connected to the obsidian, which is connected to the magma, which has all the heat, right? Obsidian has heat, too. It's shoving it in the window tiles, which then transfer to temperature shift plates, and these diamond tiles, which then, when the mechanized air light lock is shut, it allows transfer of heat. When it's open, there's no environment because it's a vacuum. So it stops the transfer. We're up to 200 degrees on these tiles. Oh, wait a minute. I've used different designs before. You look at my Nick. First time chatter, welcome. What happened to the voles echo? What was the result of the scientific experiment? Um, some people disbelieve the results, but we saw a definitive difference in the, the cooling log on the cooling of the tiles, depending on the location. Um, I normally, Do this with temperature shift plates. It's going to have to be real careful because you could, I could inject too much heat in here. So we're going to have to be real careful because when it's shut, the steel tiles are getting a lot of heat. We'll see. 
I am not getting squirreled, Sardamalas. I am not getting squirreled, I promise. All right. Let's go above. Wee, more heat. It should drain it because it's only a hundred kilos of metal tile, right? This is another thing you got to think about. Whereas these are 800 kilos worth of crude oil. So it's okay that it's going to take a second for the storm oil sensor to pick up on the fact that, hey, I need to inject more. You'll see when we're done that this is just a fire and forget. I am just slowly injecting heat so that we don't go too far above. I remember the magic temperature is 399.9. And it takes about 1.2 degrees to pass the, I guess, the evaporation point. I guess it's not evaporation. What's it called when a liquid just turns into another liquid? It's not evaporation. What's it? What's the liquid changing into a liquid scientific term? Move yourself to the side so we can see the temp. Sure. The boiling point, maybe? The turning point, says Jerifa. We need crown molding. I am not giving you crown molding right now. I know what you're trying to do. Conversion point. I like that, too. And it's so beautiful when this thing flashes. It just flashes. What can I say? Look at it. No sour gas. Hold. Hold. I need to filter this for a minute because we still have some oil. <laughs> Transfer point. Mrs. Music Lady says it's the condensation point. This was just the overflow because of the difference in mass of, I guess, petroleum versus uh, crude oil. That's why it kind of gets big. Or it could be this fact that it was, set, it was operating two tiles at once or two liquids can't operate the same tile. So you have this little issue. Never my fault with the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, we're at 350. See, now it's it really flips quick now. But it looks like we're slowly getting more just petroleum. Oh, there's the one tile. This hap... Oh. I know what I can do to fix that. I need temperature shift plates. Let's go diamond temperature shift plate. Aisha with the follow as well. So that needs to be mopped. That needs to be mopped. It's not throw it. It's because... So imagine, like right now, there's only 142 kilos worth of petroleum. So the oil, when it was flipping, the petroleum had to separate from the tile. So then there's just not enough space in there. It's not the heat that the insulated tile can't handle. It's the pressure. It's the... When two liquids are vying for control of one tile, it's actually just the liquid pressure on the tile. But that shouldn't happen once we get this going and everything's flowing right. See, now we have just petroleum right now. Yes. This will also help draw some of that out as well. Oh, it just flipped back. Do you see that? All 
I'm waiting for all petroleum. Haunted said you can prevent overpressure in that tile by lowering the vent to that tile. I've always put it above. I have seen it otherwise, but I've always done above. We're at 379. Oh, don't don't get me save bug. This is what I was looking for. Because remember, we have... Till 538 degrees to be able to make sure everything's good. Uh, I'm also going to put a petroleum drop off, say, here. I guess this will work. And then sweep all these. So now all I have to do is set this to say, if the temperature is below 405, we'll start at 405. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. If it's above 405, open the door. And then I can turn this on. Let's go to slow speed. I've gotten it as efficient as having it down to 403 or 404. The, the more efficient, the lower you can get this temperature and it's still being steadily converting, the better your, the more efficient your petroleum boiler is. In other words, the longer all this heat will last. And I've had one of these in a standard oil biome last like 3,000 cycles. And we're still overheating up here. I saw an overheat message right here. Redonkulous. I might have to just I don't know. We'll fix that later. Live action pixel in with the 13 months. It's that time again. I have to force myself out of lurk and to say thanks for the great content and good vibes. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate you. Now, for those of you who've never seen this, this is what's happening. That oil is coming in at what? 84 degrees and slowly heating up based on the temperature of the petroleum. So this is also what you can do to make it more efficient. Our, our goal is to get it to like 395 degrees. And that way, as soon as it drops, it flashes just like it's doing. Right now, there's still enough ambient heat. And see the door automatically shuts and closes based on that temp. It's up at 428. Joe! With the 100 bit says, please die. Phase diagram is a graphical representation of a physical state of substance under different conditions of a temperature and pressure. A typical phase diagram has pressure on the Y axis and temperature on the X axis. As we cross the lines or curves on the phase diagram, a phase change could occur. So is that what we call it? Phase change? I like that. Uh, this one says petroleum, by the way. And this, we're going to say... Oh, no, no, no. This... Which one is this? This is supposed to go here. Stop pumping if this is too full. So, one kilo a second seems to be doing fine. Let's pump up the jams to, let's say, five kilos.
Rob Roy is thinking that the phase change is only when it's one type into another, such as like a, a liquid into a solid or a solid into a gas or something, but... Distillation? Well, let's think about a, a more common practice. Um, and for those of you wondering the reason why it's not doing its job yet in the counterflow is because it's the, um, we had to mop up a lot of it. So you notice there's only 380 kilos in this tile. But look at all the heat just slowly. It's sitting on this tile. The oil's coming in. This Remember, this is oil coming in and it's not going anywhere. It's not even forming an oil tile. Now look at it. We finally have got a big enough tile. See how it's now coming down? Which means that oil is slowly heating up more and more, so it takes even less heat. Because you could just put cold oil in this thing, but then you're always going to break this tile because there'll be always be a tile of oil, you know, and you're trying to waste so much heat trying to get it. It's just, you need to get it close to the temp that where it shifts. All right, let's uh, let's go times 10 speed. I'm fairly happy about this. Do we have five kilos? Yeah, we're at five kilo blobs. S sniper spices. Basically, this thing is not realistic. I No, it's not. I'm not 100%. I feel like I've done this research before in a past life. What they do to crude to make uh, petrol out of. But it's not just heat. <laughs> Rob Roy with the big brain says, I think the process is fractional distillation. And notice, we're already done. Like the, the door is now opening and closing based on the temperature of this temperature sensor. And it looks like 405 is working. You want it to be right at the point where it's not making a tile. See, now it's a little bit hotter. So it's not even forming a tile. So now we got all this time where it's still hot enough. Whoa, what's happened to my oil? Oh, if it's a... What happened to my oil? Okay, you're still coming. All right, oh, I just got confused. And so that's the reason why this lasts for like 10,000 cycles or something silly, because you see how, how short of a time this door actually stays shut. Um, we did not turn this back on yet. I suppose we can. But which, by the way, now notice the petroleum, by the time it gets down here, it's the same temperature as the crude oil. So we're only pumping like 80 degree petroleum when it started out at 410 degrees. What is entombed? Probably that volcano again. We're going to have to figure something else out here. We will figure it out. Oh, um, even the liquid reservoirs are overheating. Okay. We're putting them down here. I'm not even, I'm not even dealing with it. Not even dealing with it. We didn't need that much room anyways. So it makes sense for them to be in here anyways. Oh my gosh, everything's overheating. What is going on in here? 291 degrees? It's because they're like in sync. Oh. Dang it. Squirrel, I forgot to reset this timer sensor so it hasn't been getting rid of the heat. The sauna's too small. No, it's not. Don't talk about the size of my sauna. Yeah, right now we only have 19 kilos of steam pressure. That's one reason we're having an issue. So I only want this to go... 
I'm gonna have it not crush steam until it's a tenth of a cycle now. All right, tenth of a cycle every ten cycles. It's also because I just... These things were turning off based on the battery because the temperature sensor wasn't working. Not that it wasn't working. It was, you know, I was silly. I'm going to have two of... We're going to use two. In fact, let me max this out. It's already maxed out. So let me go... Yeah, that's fine. Why are you out of power? Oh, we're about to fix that power issue. Oh my goodness, it melted the wires again! I'm still doing it. Lead. I don't know if I can reach here. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go like this. Yep. There we go. Hydrogen pump is broken. We got the steam turbine, so they will start doing their thing. These are all broken. Yeah, there's this... We were crushing too much of the steam. I want like 50 kilos worth of steam so it'll absorb more of this heat when they erupt. So that's one thing that we've had to pay attention to is how often we want this door system to work. Oh, this one's broken now. We need to keep... You need to keep running this, Team Turbines. We got a lot of work to do. I also liked the idea of using the the coolant like here and dropping it directly on the volcanoes. That seems like a slick method too. But again, this is not our problem right now. This is not what I'm concerned about. Yeah, the pressure sensor um, cap of 20 kilos, it really hurts us. It's so hot in here. This is redonkulous. Or at least a thousand. Yeah, I know. I, I would like a thousand kilos too. For my purposes, just make it up to a hundred. My next step is I'm just going to vacuum it in and put a dripper on it. If it's not working at 50 kilos, but we will get it to work. I am confident. My goodness. And it's going to get even hotter here in about 0.8 cycles. All right, let me do this. We're just going to stop them from erupting for a little bit. I see everything is broken. Nothing is broken. All right. We're just, we're still tinkering. This is not a finished product yet. Oh, one thing we could use to get the temps down is start pumping some polluted water in here. By using this guy right here. And it's about ready, too. So 
as soon as we get the petroleum boilers power transformer on. Hurry up! See, this is what it infuriates me with the game. I put this on a high priority. It's been like a half a cycle. It's about time. Quaffed Quoka. Was it too hot in there? <laughs> a smidge. It's because I did not have this thermal sensor set when I replaced the sensor. I made a boo-boo. Now it's done. Yes. We'll turn those back on in a little while. Now, can I get some petroleum? Uh, yes. Here's the petroleum coming. And here's the great thing about this system. You stop giving it oil, it just stops. And it'll pick up right where it left off. Why are we crushing steam? We started crushing steam because we knew that with all the polluted water being thrown into this, we would eventually have to. Where we kind of failed is in the fact that we were crushing it too often. We had it set on five. Which we didn't need. Cobalt. All right, let's go times 10 speed. Everything's fine. Look at the pneumatic doors are all broken too. Yeah, it was just because we are adding so much polluted water. And if we get above 150 kilos of steam pressure, these volcanoes wouldn't erupt. Oh, no! Not again? <sighs> That's impressive considering the, the vent exhaust is coming down on here, too. Why does the door in the petroleum boiler have no energy? The door... Oh, it, yeah, it's because of the power transformer keeps losing power and all that kind of stuff. We're getting there. We're getting there. But now that we have petroleum coming in, we're going to have all the power we ever wanted. Oh, wait a minute. We got to get rid of one of these. There's not enough for a power control station. Wait, I'm sexy with a hundred chaos biddies. There's no chaos here. Oh, these ducks don't overheat, do they? Boop. Lead. Actually, it could melt. It would not overheat, but it definitely would melt. That should be plenty of power. Should. Maybe. Of course, this is going to drive me nuts, too. Oh! And I forgot a battery! Oh, boy. I remember my first time. Oh, pooey. Okay, just two, then. It's fine. <laughs> Battery! Because right now we're just blowing through this and we don't need to. Where is it? Right here. Whee! Bridge. Oh, I can't bridge it here? Okay, we can bridge it this way then. Zimmy said it's a lot of tinkering. Look, we're tinkering! It's just experimentation! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Is 
It's still a little warm in here, but the but all this polluted water is chilling it out too. And now that we have steady flow of petroleum, we're probably going to need to adjust this more. Uh, what are you doing in here? Get out. This is that liquid phosphorus. When does it erupt? 280 degrees. Oh, here comes some of that dirt, too. Suppose I can get rid of this and this. We should never... It should never be cold enough in here to where we need to worry about it. Oh, yes. Look at that. Uh, we're going to make this say 90, 60. Make the natural gas say 90, 50. Make this say 90, 70. Because it has to burn just to make sure we're not getting too much hydrogen from way so this doesn't get backed up. All right, how are we looking? So far, so good. Oh, we still have yellow alert on. <laughs> From stare deck. Finally. All right, and we'll eventually take the dirt out as well, like this. And have it go through the debris chiller as well. Yes. Did the sour gas prediction get resolved? No, it's about to, though. I'm going to bring this up to 10 kilos per second. Still a vacuum. No. I see sour gas. You do not see sour gas. Can you silence the doubters with a gas overlay? Vacuum. Yay! <laughs> yeah, uh, we still have a little bit of tinkering to do. You notice how it's flipping? We want it to run as le as as least uh, as less often as possible. Is that a double whatever? Right now the crude oil is at 340. So I'm going to add a couple of more radiant liquid pipes. And I mean the crude oil in this tile because you also don't want the crude oil to start flashing in these pipes and breaking the pipes. This is why that top run, I always do regular tiles or regular pipes. Now the crude oil is up to 365. So I can even get a little closer. See this petroleum is at 410 and it slowly starts cooling down. So right around where the petroleum is at 400 degrees is where you want to steer clear of. So this looks to be about perfect. We will see after a little while. And it looks like 405 has been perfect so far because we're never getting a full tile of oil. Flynn says, so I like the stream so far, but the lack of sour gas feels like a downside. Oh yeah, um, but don't worry, like we had sour gas the last two streams. My chat feeds on sour gas. There is sour gas over in the magma um, over here. That's actually phosphorus gas. But there was some sour gas over here a long time ago as well. Oh, look at it slowly crushing all this polluted oxygen too. Oh, it's so glorious. <laughs> Front of us says, I hope there will be an official apology from Amy. <laughs> yeah, so I think we can say that there was no sour gas in the making of this petroleum boiler. So I'm going to choose this outcome to a no. Will Echo's petrol boiler make sour gas? No, it will not. Thank you for all to all the believers. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Soren Hero says begrudgingly, I lost on Sour Gas. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, this is one of my favorite systems in the game just because, and then with this 10 kilos, you can run four petroleum generators flat out. It's some ridiculous number. Five petroleum generators flat out. If you need five petroleum generators running flat out in your colony, there's something wrong. But I do need to get rid of this one for a minute. Oh yeah, look at the temps. The temps are being shut down. 225 we're already down to. 192 up here. So once I see about 50 kilos of steam again, um, we will uncork these and see how that goes. Meat hound with a squirrel. <laughs> What do you want the name of Squirrel? None of them are squirrely. They're all named. I don't know what you want me to name, Meat Hound. So is there a place for Slicksters yet? No, not yet. <laughs> Codes Man says, so there was sour gas in the last two streams. It may have been destroyed, so you can't see it anymore. Yeah, and here's all that carbon dioxide. This is the reason why we need this. Um, I need to get rid of this liquid phosphorus. It's being a pain in my tuchus. Because we need to be destroying the... The carbon dioxide. But remember, this system here, or this side, fires whenever it's sitting on oxygen or something or whenever it's not seeing steam, it makes the system run. This side is only running it at a minimum of 10% of a cycle. No, 1% of a cycle. No, I think it's 10% of a cycle every 10 cycles. Ed in with a drink. Thank you, Ed. And a pandiculate. Oh. Thank you, Ed. And <laughs> Naz with a dote. <laughs> All right, let me move these phosphoruses. I mean, that's a that's a fairly good bit of work today. And it looks glorious. Oh, we still can't reach this. This is going to say all. Cuz this is where the dirt's going to form. Look at it. It's so wonderful. And we'll start seeing these magma tiles. The way we'll be able to time it is these magma tiles will slowly start turning into igneous. And once they do, then you can start of, you can, it's basically the same thing as looking at a candle's wick. Is that 10% or 60 seconds at 1x speed? Isn't 60 seconds? Um, remember, when we say 600 seconds in a cycle, we don't mean 600 real life seconds. They're any seconds. So I don't think, like the difference between ticks, other than you know, the simulation is failing between 10x and 1x. 60 seconds is still 60, 60 seconds. And I think this is representing 60 seconds. Unless I'm not picking up what you're throwing down there, Dex. All right, we're down to 186 in here, up top. 
I'm going to open this one back up. No, I'm going to wait. I said 50 kilos. Oh, it wasn't a question, Dex. I see. More? What is... Okay, no. This is good. Goodbye, carbon dioxide. Here's more liquid phosphorus. Where can I dump this liquid phosphorus? I thought we had a little dumpy spot, but we'll make one right here. Boop. Uh, let me do it this way. There we go. There's another drop of liquid phosphorus on the other side. Of course there is. And more water! Having this shaft here was not my brightest decision. Because I'm always going to get like water and everything, all that other junk in here. And this still needs power. There we go. It's already loaded up with 22 kilos worth of dirt. Oh, this needs to go on. Uh, aluminum, cobalt, whatever floats your boat. And these things are producing a glorious 3,000 watts. Yes! And our petroleum boiler is about to just stop, too. And which will conserve even more heat. Because um, it's going to fill up here. Because, look, it's already backed up. So ridiculous. Next up on the ridiculousness, what do we do? Is it, are we gonna do... I don't, we don't need to do a sour gas boiler yet. Oh my goodness. I literally just prevented you from doing that. Where did the mafic rock come from? The sour gas boiler? Oh, uh, I also gotta get into there. Oh... Uh... We'll have to fix this next time. I mean, we already have a full thing of hydrogen. Oh, no. This can be an issue. If this whole thing fills up, I need this hydrogen to have a priority. Or I just could put that system in over here. All right, let's do it. Where are we? Ventilation. Gas bridge. Goes up. Comes over. Is it like this? This is where I always booger this up. I think this is it. Slicky Jeb, I appreciate it. Soren Hero, I appreciate the lurk. You might want to put a sweeper at the bottom of the ladder shaft to auto collect the drops and deliver them to infinite storage. Save the plastic from becoming happy fun gas. <laughs> happy fun gas. <laughs> oh, that was not a bad idea. I don't know if I have room for a sweepy system, though. I'd have to expand over there. Happy fun gas. Yay! What am I, why isn't it bringing up my automation? Gas element sensor. Why is it not? Gas pipe element sensor. It's not opening the pipe overlay. 
You see how right now is a perfect example. You see how the um, the gas prioritizes going through the bridge first. So if the gas is already ever backed up to this point, it overflows past the bridge. It's going to hit this sensor, and then we're going to tell this to these hydrogen generators just to burn. Oh, I could have used the automation on the reservoir. The only bad thing about using the automation on the reservoir is I get to do it wherever I want in the pipes, which kind of gives us more of a, a backdrop of um, hydrogen. Not a lot more, but some more. We Oh, not again. I am so tired of dealing with this, this like one tile gap here. It is infuriating. That will tell them to burn. And the great thing is just telling this to burn on this line doesn't mean it's gonna stop using, like we'll stop the containing here and here. Dex thinks, I always think you overcomplicate engineer those. Just two overlapping bridges with inputs connecting, outputs connected. Then place the sensor on the second bridge's input. But I like... This is pretty. Can you put that on a... Yeah, I guess you can. So what Dex is saying is do it like this. And then just drop it. All right. Good, good. Yes. Now it'll keep burning hydrogen until this pipe is empty up to this point. So the last problem we have to fix today... Oh, look at the hydrogen starting to get backed up here. Because the petroleum generators crush it. We are up to 24 kilos worth of steam. We'll also have to keep an eye on the carbon dioxide pressure. Because if the carbon dioxide raises too much, we'll have to keep destroying it more too. And what do I do here? Just go right in and not even care. I'm thinking that's what I do. Oh, no, no, no. Because the hydrogen's going to come out. It'll go up here. How about I do this? I will give it the best shot. I think it's still going to mess up. Boom. Fun fact. Um, after they've been... Uh, what do we call it? Uh, NG's tune-up. They still will give the 3,000 watts, even though you get rid of mod for the power control station. So you can see it says 3,000 watts. But you have to keep an eye, like, so this doesn't need another NG's tune-up for another three cycles, which has to do with the dupe's operating um, proficiency. All right, don't, don't let too much steam in, okay? I don't feel like dealing with it. Move. Oh, that's right. We're doing to do this. What do you mean invalid? That's why you got to build these first. <sighs> I mean, not use sandstone because we have so few sandstone. Gold. I too like gold. Cooking, building, tidying is kind of nice, though, isn't it? Yeah, let's take this ruby. Get your dupe raffles in. This is the last one. Oh, the ladder is blocked. You're right. Now that you say that, I remember. And by opening this, it's going to cause such a ruckus.
What are we going to do primarily with this ruby? I think they got to be a cook. Absolutely. Oh, we only have the one. Priorities, Ruby. You are cooking. Schedule. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, more ice melting? That's wonderful. How's this place doing, by the way? We haven't even checked on it in so long. 160 degrees, nice. Oh, this crude oil can come out now. It can go be put back in its hole. All the cobalt coming out magically. Look at this. Oh, sulfur. It's just sliding right through. Just keeps going. Now that we're not heating the whole thing up with water too often. That'll start back, though. In uh, 17 cycles. Oh, here's the water. Ugh. Now I need to put a filter on this. And that water came from the ice being dropped off from here and then falling all the way down. Maybe I should do... I don't know. It's so infuriating. <laughs> as long as this thing keeps producing more um, oil the water is not going to matter but that still is obnoxious because you definitely don't want water in here because the water will create steam and then all of a sudden all your thermals are going to be thrown off what would I even do with the water I could t pump it back into here. But what if we get another liquid? Oh, wait a minute. If I do this... Can the dupes go through a one-tile thing? Or do they have to be standing straight up in it? I think they can go through that. Naz says, half the bottom atmosphere have been unusable for the last three streams because of lack of O2. Yeah, they need more. Uh, they need another oxygen pipe because this is where everybody likes to go out of. But now that we're not doing big projects down here, they'll start filling up again. Yeah, this will work a lot better. Now let me go and do this pain and the tuckus. It's a little collection point. Echo, could you release all that O2 in that canister somewhere? We have. We have a thingy. Can they not get there? They can now. Right here? Oh, this is polluted oxygen. No, we're not going to touch that. <laughs> we're going to leave that. Oh, do not get stuck. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're not going to get stuck. You can always come up over here. There you go. Where are you going? Like, that's the way you wanted to take to get there? I hope your head gets stuck. Dang it. <laughs> I 
Release the op polluted oxygen to space? What if we need it one day? Huh? What if we need it? Attack on the union rep? Is there still water up here? Of course there is. Notice now the petroleum is filled all the way up to this point. So this pump just stopped feeding it crude oil. But because we're in a vacuum, all the temps, they're just sitting there waiting. That's all you got to do is just add more oil. How did you miss Echo Cupid? It was recently added back. We had it last year too. And is it, is there no more oil in there or water? Did we get it all? Yes, we did. Oh, wait, what is this? It slid over there. My favorite is the little diaper I'm wearing. Uh, oil well. There we go. You could direct the overflow front of the two oxygen bridges that feed the left part of the base towards the bottom atmosphere. Um, but what happens? So if I do that, where does it decide that this line is no longer going to feed them? That's always my trepidation with doing that. I think the gas from the deconstructed uh, made steam. No, not again. We'd already deconstructed it. Where'd the water come from? Oh, that had to be from the steam that you were talking about. But we had already deconstructed it. Yeah, because otherwise it decides in a wonky way. That's my... You could split the line 50-50. But that's my whole point. Is if I do that, then half my suits are reliant on being overflow. And you can't depend on that. At least it, it, that's my justification. I want to depend on this oxygen line just for this. And unless, you know, like you said, I overflow it like... Uh, this... Oops. But now I'm dependent on this being an overflow. So maybe we just make this like the back five suits. Nas says that's true, but then again, the suits aren't getting any oxygen at all right now. That's true. They will. They will once you, um... Once we're not doing as much work down there. But that should work. Let's also start some low-level sweeps. I think Wednesday's episode has to be all about cleaning up our base. Because this is ridiculous. Like, who lives here? Take some pride. Alright, we have... Boop. Let me get an exclamation roll 14. Why did I put poles over the ladders? Uh-oh, what did I do? I remember doing this. I don't I don't know why I did this. <laughs> it's funsies. For the funsies. Jarifa rolled an 11. 14, 13, 12, and 11. It is Coco Poca! Who is telling me I'm mispronouncing their name. I'm guessing it's Kakapaka. Where are you, Ruby? Congratulations to Kokapoka. <laughs> KB is so sad. They've been trying for so long. I mean, Ed even put in a, a thing for you. You'll get it eventually, KB. KB. 
Jarifa says, Echo, someone's in my room again. Who is this? It's Coca Poca. Nope, Ruby, you gotta go over here. Or Coca Poca, you gotta go sleep over here. Coca Poca. I will remove the bed. There you go. <laughs> it's so funny. Jarifa just sees it. Like, hold on. Who's sleeping in my bed? I guess it makes sense because as I'm sitting here running my mouth, my brain is still actively going. But when you start tuning me out, you're like, well, I have nothing else to do. Let me look around the colony. <laughs> oh. Oh, in fact, it's something like Koksha Poksha. Dith says you made a boo boo with a sexy pole at the oil. <laughs> Is it Koksha Poksha? Maybe they can give me a thumbs up. They may not be able to right now. Because I can remember Koksha Poksha. There's no decor in the second mess hall. Time to use your new blueprint. I can't use the new blueprint. Oh, you're saying with the lab print? That's fair, because right now this is only a great hall. Let's, let's test it out, shall we? It's a regular hangy pot. It should have been, it should have been an arrow pot. Because it's a beaker, it should be glass or diamond. This is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable, Clay. <laughs> Coxapoxa says, I'm getting closer. But see, I don't understand, there's no S. It must be the CK sound from wherever you're from. Makes the... Oh, it's supposed to have the little accents over it. Cybernetic Overlord said 0 out of 10. Literally unplayable. Immersion ruined. Um... Joya Seed? Oh, it does look amazing, though. But yes, it should be an arrow pot. Oh, it is amazing. Look at that. You can even see the soil inside the beaker. That's pretty good artwork. I like that. That is amazing. <laughs> Cybernetic over. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Literally unplayable. How are we doing down here? Oh, yeah, we're just picking up our dirt. Crushing carbon dioxide like a boss. Uh, we're letting all sorts of steam and hydrogen mix in here because I forgot that we we're doing this. It's all right. Pro level gameplays. Isn't the blueprint smaller in size? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, furniture. No. It's the same. Dark Vorbug gifting a sub to Sardinamalus. Thank you, Dark Vorbug. I appreciate you. It's 47 for you. All right, that's in now. We are going to get some damage in here because, well, there's going to get steam in these pipes. Not my problem. Yep. Not my problem. Oh! That was magically happy sauce. I will take that. I mean, I meant to do that. <laughs> we need to go take a picture. Don't forget to drywall the high- Ah, oh, too late. Gilded squid, that's why you gotta use the sound alerts. I would have I would have definitely drywalled at that time. Mm-hmm. What skin mods do you have installed that caused the bug category to appear in the supply closet? Oh. I saw that message earlier, Sardamalis, but I thought you were talking to somebody else.
Where did you see it? Bug uncategorized? Oh, it must be, um... It's the... You know what I'm talking about. Um... Better marble statues and better s sculptures. I removed it because I was worried that it was part of the issue of... Um, I was just checking it off the box of not causing the issue, but then I can't load my Chaos Goose Colony because I started with that and I have some of those sculptures. Belt Fed Joe says, open it back up and throws 300 biddies at my face. All right, I'll do it. I mean, 300 biddies? I mean, I'll do a lot for 300 biddies, you know what I mean? Three dollars? Make you holler. All right, what are we going to do? Something pretty. Mm. Ooh, the grapes? I think we're going to go with aquatic mosaic. Thalric with 10 gifted subs. That is ridiculous, Thalric. Thank you very much. <laughs> Joe... Joe throws 500 more bits and says, what can I get now? Thank you, Joe. I appreciate you. Go opposite? How do I go opposite? Is anybody buffering? Ed's getting some buffer issues. Hide! Hide, I'm glad you're here. We have an issue. We have an issue, Hyde. No buffering. Um, I went to the UPS store to ship your stuffs, your giveaway, and they wanted $200 to ship it. I'm not paying $200 to ship something. Uh, why is that doing that like that? That is so weird. So we're either going to have to do like an I owe you. An I owe you something. Well, you know. <laughs> it says WTF. Like I could even do the post office. And from what I understand, the post office would be cheaper. It would take seven, seven to 21 days to get there. And then when it gets there, it would, well, it would still cost me $50 to send. And it seems like sending something that's only worth $25 to send, $50 to send it. I don't know if the juice is worth that squeeze. Yeah, there's something going wrong with UPS because UPS, at least in the United States, deals with all of Amazon's returns. And you can't tell me they're charging because um, I also used Amazon to send a box um, to some family and it still costs $20. You can't tell me that they're charging Amazon $20 to ship those things for those Amazon returns. Jarifa says, maybe send it through Amazon. Can you do international shipping in Amazon? I don't know how all that works. I thought about just using getting an Amazon gift card so Hyde could buy it themselves. But then uh, when I went to buy my gift card, it said I had to be, I had to be a part of, I had to go to Amazon, um, insert their country. And I wasn't going to say what country um, Hyde was from, but. I don't, and I have no idea. Like, how am I even supposed to use that? Like, use Google Translate? Rubicant says, try DHL. Oh, we can get this back in here, too. It's so hilarious how little petroleum we're using. And it keeps the entire base just going. Forever endeavor. 
It just keeps going. It'll keep doing this forever. At 12,000 watts. That's what I was thinking. Oh, you can set any Amazon site to English? I'm going to give that a try. Joe says, can you please hide all of his left socks? You will be my BFF. That's just mean. <laughs> Kutai Ed says, I just saw the new quality of life update and you'll be able to rebuild machinery without deconstructing. As in, if you have a copper generator and want to switch it to steel, you can just click one button. Bam. Same for skins for beds and stuff. Oh, that'll be nice. That will be cool. Speaking of which, did I build this out of steel? Yes, I did. Uh, why is it... St oh, because we still haven't sealed it up. Do you need a separate account when you shop on an international Amazon? Fornima says yes. Oh, I don't want to make a new account. All right, now this is working. This is working again. We have infinite power. This is obviously the picture, right? Do I do it like this? So I have some place to write? Or do I do it like this and just have all this yuck in it? I don't know. Let's go with the right justified today. Which, by the way, I think we're starting to run into a problem. Just make sure you get all that sour gas in the picture. There is no sour gas. Pro. Pro gamer. <laughs> oh, everybody get ready to say cheese. Three, two, one. Queso! Woo! There we go. Man, I love having some infinite power. Come, I've heard it comes with great responsibility. <laughs> That's how you know it's time to end streaming. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so good. Chad, I had a good time. Front of us says, I love your crazy face, Echo. <laughs> Much love back. Cheesy pickles? Cat hair don't care. Don't don't bring that evil in here. Cheesy pickles? What is this nonsense? Dr. Danger says too soon after Madam Web with Spider-Man reference. Was it that bad? I just said I wasn't going to watch it. Like, I, didn't, I wasn't even giving it the attempt. Because I knew I would have heard good things from some of my friends or whatever, or even from, from y'all. Uh, but I had not heard a thing. Oh, it was horrible. Of course it was. Because Disney's not trying to write a good show anymore. They just keep trying... They just keep trying to hire writers to write a certain type of show. Instead of trying to write a good show. <laughs> Dr. Danger says it really was that bad. At least Morbius was bad in a funny way.
Yeah, normally they're in beta for like two weeks. I've seen them go as far as three weeks as well, but it's normally at the end of the month. Did I see the X-Men cartoon trailer? No, but I did see the Deadpool uh, Wolverine trailer. I'm wondering, because it looks like there's going to be a lot of... Which I hate to say it, because I do not like the TVA as a, a writer's mechanic or a plot point. I like the Loki character, but the TVA is just a stupid construct. It's absolutely... It's absolutely dumb. Basically, they're saying all the other stuff that we ever saw, it doesn't matter. You wasted your time. Don't remember the lore. We're just going to flip it. It's so... Ugh. It makes me so mad. Like, and you knew it as soon as they, in the first season of Loki, the guy opens his desk drawer and there's a bunch of infinity stones sitting there. Like that whole arc, the whole first arc was nothing but about the infinity stones. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of them. Like, it's so bad. Paperweight Infinity Stones, yep. Well, no, I'm... So, I'm, I want to go on the record and say that I don't mind a, a female superhero. I have no problem with it. I don't care if it's a female superhero. It's just got to be a good superhero. Just like on the, on the flip side, there are male superheroes that I am very glad they have not made a whole their whole series around it. It's just the the TVA that despises me. But also for X-Men and the um X-Men and Wolverine. We're talking about uh what's it called? Madam Spider or whatever. I read a brief article and it was talking about how I'm not going to pull it from my butt because when you pull things from your butt, then you tend to get in trouble. But they always try. Okay, here's the here's my example. Remember in one of the the last Avenger movies when it was Captain Marvel and she was carrying the football or whatever you want to call it, and she lands on the planetoid, and one of the bad guys says to Captain Marvel, "How are you going to get through all of us?" Now, keep in mind, 30 seconds before, Captain Marvel just literally flew through two spaceships. Like, through, flew through two spaceships without an issue. And now you're sitting on the ground and the bad guy's like, oh, how are you going to get through all of us? And then all of a sudden, in the background, all the female characters, the bad ones, the good ones, all of them, then land. They're going to do it with us. That was so campy such an ew sort of moment that it detracts from what it's trying to do. It's It makes it bad. No feminist looks at that and goes, yep, that was a well-written plot point that really, um, that really accentuates and highlights the strength of that feminine, feminine character. No! If anything, it's like, oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. Oh, it, ma it makes me irrational. It really does make me irrational because Captain Marvel, the power that Captain Marvel has, they could have just tiptoed through the entire battlefield and no one should be able to stop Captain Marvel. But then you're going to get, you're going to get, um, insert sidekick here they're gonna do it it's like oh kb says he's so angry about a movie i'm not angry i'm definitely not angry it's like when you get into debates about comic books and stuff they don't matter right it like when people start debating um Star Wars lore, right? It's just for fun. 
talking about movies and that sort of stuff, it's just for funs. Dr. Danger says, well, I guess Madam Web wasn't a girl power movie, even though it had four female leads. All of them were boring. That's where I think the problem is. Not the fact that they had four female leads. Hey, go on with your bad self. Um, it's the fact that they were, I'm guessing, I am completely pulling this out of my butt, that they were trying to force four female leads instead of just forcing four good characters. Just make good characters. Yeah, I could talk about that forever because I think they Disney has done some irreparable harm to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And what's great is they know it. They know it but they're still not learning their lesson. They're gonna keep trying. They're gonna think things like, oh, we'll be back as soon as um, X-Men and uh, X-Men and Wolverine come, which is what people don't realize. People will go see X-Men and Wolverine because those are gonna be good characters and good movies. They're well-established characters, well-established. It's a well-established movie, but they're not gonna continue on with the storyline. You're not gonna get like you used to get with the Marvel Cinematic um, Universe. People are going to see Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> I could talk about that for hours though, but unfortunately I need to go eat. I need, I need food in my yum yums. Has anybody heard a rumor of Disney buying Doctor Who, says Dex? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. They buy everything. Big Wave Day says, yes, they did. They got the distribution, the U.S. distribution rights. Oh, yeah. It's going to be painful. <laughs> oh, it's going to be painful. Mm. Yeah, but don't worry, because all the all that they're going to do to make up for their colossal losses on the movie side of the house, is just raise your tickets at Disney World. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. What can I say? Thor, have a good one. We're getting ready to raid out now. Yeah, let's go do that. I think that's a good idea, Zolden. Zolden had a recommendation earlier. Thank you, everybody, for coming up. We really appreciate you. Appreciate all the good combos. We're going to go watch Echoes of Plum Grove. Our, uh, our friend Space Huggle has actually uh, got a dev copy from it. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to support that endeavor. So make sure you show a lot of love, just like you do in here. And I appreciate you showing a lot of love in here. Just like I appreciate all the chats. Helps make the stream better. Please say thank you to the mods on the way out. Because they help keep the place, uh, you know, on, the, on the, the straight and narrow. I will see you again on Wednesday. We should have a video coming out tomorrow. It will be a Let's Play, but it'll be of the Chaos Crew Colony. And then I'm hoping to have a couple videos for the newest colony. The Farm Series. All right. So until next time, much love, happy gaming, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.